Mm. That's how you feel? I like that energy. Little dipset. Yeah, that nigga said it. He got back to his business. I'm saying, why am I still letting the song play then? Right. <laughs> back to your business. You have to get back to your business? Yeah, don't yeah. tell me you back to business and I'm over here enjoying the song. Yeah, nah, yeah we back, back to business. You got nigga. a pod. <laughs> Please put your leg down. You're going to start a fire. <laughs> uh, microphone check. One, two, what is this? You know the fuck is that? Energy, I need energy, energy, energy. Woo! Nah, enough of y'all. Do I have a hand on? <laughs> enough of y'all niggas, man. Energy in here. <laughs> Welcome to the Joe Budden Podcast, episode 300, bitches. Uh, I remember you niggas said we wouldn't be here. <laughs> I just said I would implode. <laughs> Our teachers <laughs> say we'd never be shit. Yeah, man. You hit it with that? Yeah. If these uh, rappers don't shut up, like all their teachers didn't encourage them. <laughs> <laughs> he, now, my thing is, they probably told you that because you never was in class. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga go to class once a month. Told me, my teacher told me I wouldn't be. You ain't going to be shit. You only hit once a month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've seen this pattern before. Y'all teachers ever told y'all that? No. No, my teacher never told me I wasn't going to be shit. Mine didn't either. I lied about it in raps. It's, no, it sounds. It sounds. We come. We coming clean today. Three hundred episodes. I feel I can be transparent with you guys. My teacher supported me. <laughs> yeah, you mean that's what they, they did? What they were teachers they, supposed to do? They were shocked when I wasn't doing well. Yeah. Like, yeah. They thought I had the ability. Yeah. <laughs> they wrote it on every report yeah, card. They just like, felt yeah. like if I could stop talking. Yeah. 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 Uh, episode well, nah, three. Look, look at you now. Right. Talking. Mm, Sorry, <laughs> man. No, Rory, Rory, it's because of guys like you, Rory. You just bring the culture together. Yes, you know? that's, that's who I am. <laughs> you bring the culture together, Rory. Hold up, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Huh? Yeah, talking to the teacher. Hold up, hold up, hold up, man. Talking to the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Teachers outside the club right yeah, now. Yeah, let me tell you something. Your teacher being in the club is nasty. Oh, I've seen it. I've seen it. Yeah, also, absolutely. Your, what's nastier, your your entertainment lawyer being in the club is nasty too. <laughs> yeah, that's scary. Yeah, that nigga Londell. <laughs> 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 that nigga Londell used to. All right, we ain't gonna get in there. Uh, Londell <laughs> sounds like he was in the club. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. <laughs> uh, we, ain't gonna, we ain't gonna talk about Londell right now. <laughs> that's a deeper, darker criminal. Link. One thousand percent. <laughs> Episode three hundred of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your humble, grateful, gracious, and highly favored host, Joe Budden. Here with a few really good guys, man. You guys did it. You're here. Oh man, you know it was, it's, it was tough, but we made it. No ads. A lot, lot, lot of lot of, tra- <laughs> lot of traffic on the way to Queens. Yeah, it was tough right, though, but right. we made it through. We made it through. More Sometimes you- we record during rush hour. Yeah. We made it though. Maul makes it through the traffic and the rain. You know what I mean? Got to. Got to keep pushing. Through the fire. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Rashid Sunflower is here. Maul, Jeez. aka J Bone. Y'all know the vibes when J Bone is around. You feel me? Parks is here. Uh, Rory is here. Sunset. You know, you know what is. time it is when sunset and set it on sun. Mm-hmm. Eric's son is here, keeping Woo! the sun family intact. Mm. Yo, I see what you did. You <laughs> Yo, still got Park. it. You Yo. still got it. STD is here. Savon is here. Huh? And the unlimited guest. You know what I mean? I'm at the unlimited. <laughs> unlimited. You can get it anywhere. You can get it at any time. <laughs> it's it's yeah. unlimited. It's always, av- <laughs> it's always available. Yeah. Yo. You can get that at any time. Man, at any time. Oh. Yeah, yes. yeah. With the fucking burglar, Scully. What the fuck is going on with this guy? And Screen Man. Screen Man, how you doing from the kitchen? You good? Is Rim in there? Rim, you good? I'm good. All right. All right. Then we ready to fucking pod. I'm not asking how you niggas is doing. I got 300 episodes. It's a sample size. Let's get right to the shits I was excited about. Party next door. Okay. Not going to intro the pod. Anymore. That was our intro. Usually you say hi to people. Right. Oh, let's People. say, yep. Yo, who do we want to shout out there? Damn. I wanted to shout out to uh, our first time listeners, our last time listeners. You guys are really important as well. Uh, I wanted to shout out to the artists that actually listen to this podcast. Oh, yeah. Because there's a lot of them. There is. There is. There and they is. call me throughout the week and they curse y'all out. They curse me out. They talk shit, but. No, hold on, hold on. They only listen to when something negative is right, being said right. about them. They the They'll snippets. never listen to 299 episodes of all this positive shit that we've said about them. Right. There'll be one little slight like, mm, the outro was okay. 
and it's f- a fucking volcano. That's a fact. <laughs> that happens. Well, I don't. You're right, Rory, but I ain't really talking about the artists that like we be talking shit about. I'm talking about the artists that talk shit with us. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> like, oh, well, shout out to them. The artists that call us and be like, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Homeboy, I don't know what the fuck he was doing. That was some bullshit. Yeah. Uh, so shout I out. always appreciate those calls, though. Yeah, yeah 1,000%. Shout funny. out Shout out to all of the fans. Uh, shout out to all of the podcasters. Uh, shout out to everybody, man. I'm in a real... Catch up to 300. I'm in a real... Don't say that, because these niggas will start <laughs> skipping sets of numbers. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon got to 270 pretty fast. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, how, how's everybody feeling? Y'all feeling good? Feeling good, good, man. Good, feel, good. Feel celebratory. Yeah. Celebr- yeah, feels, yes. feels good. Yeah, feels good. Yeah, I've kind of been noticing Scream Man's been beating Savon uh, to the pot a lot lately. Ooh, putting in the extra hours. Every right, time I walk right. in there, he's, he's writing his computer. That's getting ambition shit set right up. there. Mm-hmm. Savon strutting in at 5.15 Like right. yo Y'all wanted anything? Right Nah Scream had already got it <laughs> Did y'all want anything? <laughs> Savon ain't <didn't> fired <laughs> Savon, Savon been on the fence For two years <laughs> <laughs> Because Because he, he I keep hiring It's fucked up When you hire somebody Cause Scream Man is, is through Savon Mm. So when you hire somebody and then the person that you recommended coming in and start just busting ass. So now we're looking at Savon. All right, nigga. Uh, <laughs> that's your man. He like he working, working. Like, what's up with you? Time stamps wrong. Nah, we don't week. know. Savon could have him signed to a production deal. He don't, oh, he don't know. No, Savon, He's already signed it. Uh, need to know. Savon only nigga do the time stamps off the dome. <laughs> I want to just paint. I just want to put things in perspective as to how sick STD is. No pun intended. Double entendre. Don't even ask me how. Now, since everybody's yeah. doing all right, let's get to it. I want to start right with party because I was excited about party. We're all huge party fans. Well, most of us here anyway. Yeah. Uh, Maul and Parks, I can sp- speak for y'all. Are huge party fans. I mean, not Parks. Yeah. Maul and Rory are huge uh, party next door big, fans. Big party next. I'm door a medium fan. party next door. Fan. Medium, medium. I like his songwriting a lot. I like the stuff he does for other people more so than I like his solo stuff personally. And you said that to me last year, and I argued you on it. But I'm with you now. Yeah, I'm with you now. Uh, what do y'all? What did y'all think about uh, loyal? I wasn't. If, I wasn't. If you too gonna come out with a uh? No, but I'm, I'm <laughs> not. That says a lot. The uh says yeah. a lot. Loyal, I wasn't too big on. I was expecting uh when I, when I found out it was a party with a Drake feature, I was expecting something different. I'm, I think I'm kind of past the dance hall uh, reggae vibe records. I'm kind of like. I'm over that, so I was I wasn't really big on that. Four years late, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, because some if there's been some nah, really Party's good been, ones. Yeah, they had a doing nice that run. They had a yeah. very good run. And I mean, Party is from Jamaica, I believe. Like his family is Jamaican, so I mean, I, I, you expect it, but I didn't want that from Party and Drake. Like when they get into their uh, that other type of emo vibe, like those are the records that I that have a lot of replay value with me. But the uh, so the lawyer one, I wasn't too big on the the news. I liked though. The, okay. the, the party solo one I like that one a lot I played that a lot Alright so how are you feeling As a party fan Before I get to Rory As a fan uh, I'm still waiting to hear Some more stuff from him I mean I'm, I'm happy that he, I believe he, these records Might have been recorded already though. I don't think these are something That he just Do you up. have any feelings About the stuff you're saying Because I believe everything You're saying right uh, I mean I just I want to hear some more of Shit like the news I don't want to hear Too much more of the dance you, hall. You're not mad You're not angry No why? Have we haven't lot, heard from him in a while. A lot, I have a lot of anger issues. Man. Why? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not angry. It started at home, my dad. I, I just like the fact that... <laughs> so I, <laughs> teachers. I like, yeah, the, teachers. Yeah. I like the fact that Party put out music, Velvet. though. That means that, okay, he's back in his releasing music uh, phase. Because Party, he'll disappear oh. for another year and a half, and then we'll be sitting here like, when we get a new Party. All right. <laughs> off, off of Maul. Not starting with Maul. Uh, so give lo- it, give it to me, Dude, Rory. Lo- loyal was very underwhelming and, and very safe. I was looking for you to say that word underwhelming. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> underwhelming. It was underwhelming, and it was it was safe. I know he's been going for a while. And you want to come with a safe record, but it was too safe, and and it's just it didn't even need a, a Drake feature. The Drake part was like six bars, and it was underwhelming too. Uh, I fuck with the news though. I really, really like the news. But the, the yeah. loyal, the loyal record, no, nah, I'm cool on that. I'm sorry, just ain't the one. That's just not what I expected to hear. That's what it is. And I try not to put expectations on records when I hear that a record is coming with certain artists, but it's hard to not anticipate a party and Drake record. Of course. So I, I would like to start this, right? Because I'm here to talk to you niggas today. I would like Just to, for today. I, only today. Sometimes I don't, you know. Yeah, I know. I feel you. Listen, let me tell you something. Two pods a week, I ain't always up for this. <laughs> Yeah. I'm people, not. I'm people just, think it's easy, but that's, that's, that's a whole nother. That's a whole nother topic. Yeah, we, that's a whole nother topic. Hey, our five that's year that's anniversary whole, is coming in two months, <laughs> and we topic. can talk about it. Yeah, but sometimes topic. I listen back to this pod, and I'm gonna get off party, but I'm gonna double back to 
party. But I, sometimes I listen back to this pod, and in a moment of transparency, I be feeling bad. So I listened to our last podcast, and and don't get it fucked up. A lot of times when you hear us here, uh, there are quick reactions and first time analyzations of things. Yeah, very, very which, which we've come on here and walked back some of our for sure. So I want our, our hot I, takes before I get to party. I listened back to that last podcast, and boy, let me tell you guys something. Boy, it's cringeworthy to hear men like critique women. <laughs> it is. Who did we it, critique? It, no, no yo, it was me. <laughs> it was oh, me. Oh, oh. Uh, all the women, all of oh. every last one. <laughs> Summer, Cardi, Ari, <laughs> all of them. But I want to start with an apology to Cardi, man. I want to start there. Oh, Cardi calls you. Mm. No, not at all. <laughs> Cardi didn't call. Kaiser didn't call. Atlantic didn't call. You just went into work and they told But I got more information. I still think that freestyle was produced and it was produced. Anything Cardi Anything does Cardi B produced. does right now is At produced. This point in her life. I know, but I'm She doesn't ju- just put I, things I'm, out. I'm judging for that though. I want to see you just put things out. Hang out with Starbrim and just tape it. Uh, <laughs> but I do want to apologize because the listeners let me know, hey, that was a grandma's house, man. She she stopped by to visit a grandma yeah. in the hood. Some hood cereal back there. Had some bars. She said she was gonna. She, she said she was gonna try to uh, uh, drop something just because we haven't seen her in a while. And then the more I sat on that, I had the same conclusion that it's produced, but that's kind of swag. Uh, so like, everything I told you is now you. I said she's really in the hood. I know that apartment. It's swag. <laughs> yeah, but but if it listen, the industry stages hood shit all the time. Oh yeah, like the end of paid in full. But no, but she's from the hood, right? <laughs> really. No, I, but it don't, that part don't matter. The fact that I do now believe that Cardi said, "You know what? I'm gonna go see my grandmoms," <laughs> and just bust a verse in your grandma's house. <laughs> that's fire, though. That's why. <laughs> that's why. Yeah, rapping I mean, in your grandma's house is fire. Yo, a lot I, of rappers if, do that. Just nothing yeah, comes from it. My grandma, God bless her soul, and those uh, the projects on 135. I like. I should have thought of that. <laughs> like why didn't I go to my grandma's house to rap because you were still living in the hood and there was really no yeah but my there grandma's no alarm, house dude. think of your grandma not you because white privilege your dad built bridges but <laughs> of course right but think of your grandma's house oh it was poverty but I start there uh, now the party I'm gonna kill party <laughs> okay. and, I'm shocked, have it. and I'm shocked that y'all not killing him <clears throat> well, I really like the news. I didn't so really you're have not gonna high get me to kill the news. Listen, listen. Fuck your subjective musical critiques. We have ears. Everybody's gonna think something different. News, cool, whatever. We ain't here to argue about that. Mm-hmm. For the amount of fucking time, and I'm sick of these new artists. And he ain't even new. These niggas that get to disappear for seven years and then come back with a two pack. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nah, uh-huh. I'm Speak to it. I'm listening. Wait, why Bro, can't he come? Why, why, why can't he come back with a single? That's how artists come back. Fuck my life. Oh, <laughs> want him to, you want him to put out a full project? You wanted a whole album today? I mean, kind of. The nerve of me. <laughs> the nerve. The no, nerve of see, me. But see, to want more no, 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 than no, no, two no. songs. No, 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 no. Don't do that. A, because no, when no, I say, I believe, I, I believe, uh, I believe the word. <laughs> I believe the word you used last episode right. was entitled. You sound like an entitled fan. Mm. Mm. You can't just get a sing- a two-pack real quick? No! He's supposed to give you a full-length album the he moment was- he wants to come back. All right, how about that? How about this? No, Rory. He's supposed to not give me some mid. Oh, well, that's fine. I won't argue with you Oh, there. but you, you tomorrow. So you not only full gave... Project. But no, you did not only gave me some mid. Mm-hmm. You gave me a two-pack of mid. That's like an ounce with all the stems. I'm just digging stems oh. out this bullshit. <laughs> okay. So you give me mid and two songs from a nigga we have been waiting for and anticipating for how long? Mm-hmm. Man, if y'all don't get this nigga the fuck out of here. <laughs> so you wanted a full length Get him the fuck out of here. That's what I want. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay. The fuck are you talking about? I'm sick of these new niggas. I hate it. And He's not every, a new nigga. Every week. Party, party He's gonna not a new nigga. Party gonna give you four every, great every, records next every, week, and yo, you'll be right back here like, I, I apologize. I swear, no, uh, y'all, I swear I'm to, back on the party next door wave. I'm, I apologize for saying those things. Yeah. I'm back. I'm a fan again. <laughs> no, 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 That's no, what's no, going to no, happen no, no, in two no, no, weeks. No, 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 I know it is. I am still a fan of party. The same way I'm still a fan of Janae. Yo, let me explain to the idiots out there. You don't ever want an artist to ever have a miss, ever. No, I understand. They're supposed to be perfect. 
every record they ever put out. Party has not had a good song in fucking. Let me not say that because that's where y'all win. <laughs> I was waiting for your about to play. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Said, just then. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Ba, 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 no, how much late you ba, got ba, shit on? Ba, 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 ba. No, 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 buddy. Relax, uh, push. Fam. <laughs> I, yo, it's hard for me to even do this podcast with the, some of the shit that y'all say. I haven't said anything. I'm sitting here listening to you get your shit off. Party has been inconsistent and in delivering mid for years now. And now you drop us off a new two pack of mid. One featuring. The nigga that we love, artist of the decade. I have another theory about that. Drake, Drake is gone now. You people, what you mean? He's out of here. He has a wine cooler in his bathroom. Swag. He's got nine hundred acres, not in Wyoming. <laughs> Forty six <laughs> and some fly shit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is. The days of y'all being able to call Drake or Drake just hopping on the song and making it like a million times better, he ain't doing that no more. Mm. I think it's on purpose. Mm. He know these niggas is coming up with his old sauce. The Sway record, this record, is another fucking record I heard that sound like all that 2015 shit. Drake ain't thinking about trying to get the Raptors game. Okay, I'm cool with you saying that about Sway Lee, but you can't with Party Next Door. That he, he was, shit Him and Drake is, been doing that together. It's Sway horrible. Lee for sure. I'm with you. I'm but. waiting for y'all to come in here and say, yo, huge fans, huge fans, M. I was expecting something more along the lines of this, but what I received, that's, I was disappointed in as a fan. That's exactly what I just I, said. I, I, I said, yo, I think that's exactly I said, yo, it was really <laughs> underwhelming. We didn't even need the Drake feature. Actually, everything you're saying. I said the Drake shit was like six bars. Nah, you didn't even nah, need it. No, no, no. I just said that. What are you talking about? I just said that. No, no, no. no, no I get it. <laughs> I didn't just say that. No, no, Yes. That's yes. what he wants. He wants niggas to go crazy. I'm not doing all that. I said yeah. exactly what you just said. Right. <laughs> I said what you just said. I'm sick of these niggas. I was expecting something else. I was looking for forward yeah, to another like, sound. Like four songs, <laughs> maybe five. <laughs> Stupid of me to think that you actually have time to make songs. Yeah. And if you and if you're gonna do this, then nigga, just move and give me the. Wait, wait, wait. Be fair. We thought it was only one song coming up. No, I thought it was an album. No, no, no. I knew it was an album. We I told you it was. I know. And then y'all walked me off that ledge, and I said, "All right, we'll probably get a two pack." Yeah. I did not think we would get a two pack of ass. <laughs> two packs of ass <laughs> Two cheeks But you don't like the news yeah, at all Like nah, not even a little one, Man I ain't want Parties miss the cheeks man. But you ain't <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't like the news at all Like you didn't like the- I like news Okay it's, I like it. it's It's cool Sometimes you like some mid I love mid Sometimes nah. you like some mid That's I true I ain't spoken no more mid It's 2019 We ain't doing that But the first one I cut on Was uh the news record. I heard him in reverse. So if you put the other one out first, I don't know. I heard the news one first. Mm-hmm. And I said, okay, sounds like Party's trying to make a, a Party's next door song. Okay. That's what, that's what it sounds like. He's trying to sound yeah. like himself. Okay. Yes. <laughs> which is, which is a, I welcome that since he's been trying to sound like Young Thug for the last however many projects. Yes. Party's trying to sound like Party. I welcome it. Great. Mm-hmm. And even that news record had a little bit of Young Thug in it, but that's fine. I fuck with Party and Young Thug. Their styles are similar. Yeah. That, Similar enough for you to not have to blatantly attempt to sound like the other person. <laughs> <clears throat> and then that other record comes, uh, two dance, two dance, two not, dance. Not sure, not sure, not one dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you talking about old record? It's oh. sure. And, well, no, whatever. No, that's, that, it's no, definitely no, no, no. The, no, no, the it's new, the reprise loyal. of, of loyal. Loyal. loyal, loyal. Yeah, it's not. That's not one dance. That's two dance. <laughs> it's the it's the reprise. Yeah, no. It's just a little slower. <laughs> that that ain't. Uh, all right, I don't have nothing to say, man. I'm not saying No I'm with you I was, The loyal, loyal I wasn't boy, really I, boy I was I was just a little disappointed Just a little disappointed I expect so much more From From party Like when we actually Get a party song mm-hmm. like, That's what it is A lot of times We go Like I said I When you, I heard it was A Drake feature I was thinking It was about to be Smash The song of the Fucking winter You know what I mean But Yeah a little no, un- Underwhelming Rory That's what you said Underwhelming under, Underwhelming yes Underwhelming yeah I'm with you on that well, yeah, after the first two projects. Yeah, I'm not well at all. All right, it's cool. <laughs> Underwhelming party. I will be I will be listening for the next release. Until then, good cool. on the mid. Good on the mid. I'll hear when I he go. Gonna, he going to drop a bomb hey, on Joe. Joe hey. come here hitting 72 air horns. <laughs> hey, you drop a bomb on and Joe. And then, you know what he's also going to do? Take credit. Be like, yo, this is what I was telling party to do. <laughs> <laughs> I know Joe. For sure.
Joe yes. want Joe want party to see. I'm a fan of. I want niggas to start bringing back the old B, B sides that I like. I still think that he didn't give Low Battery a shot. And if you was gonna get yeah. a Drake feature, then put him on fucking Low Battery and yeah, give it a shot. Mm-hmm. But I know how artists feel about re-releasing old records or when a record didn't go. I get it. I'm not. I'm not getting into any of that with you. I yeah. will look forward to the next release. I will look forward to Rihanna's album. I will look forward to any album that you are writing on. But this shit is looking Memphis bleak. Okay. <laughs> All right, what else we got? God damn it. <laughs> it's a lot in my phone. I ain't letting this shit depend on Rory. Oh, mall, man. You want to get in the mall? It's a little gossipy. We can talk about music first if you want. <laughs> I mean, this is kind of music no, it's, related. It's, it's, not, it's not gossip when it's your people. Right, right. It's not this gossip the, when it's at home. Source. It's at this home. We sit, we sit next to them. Right. Y'all are sick. <laughs> no, you sick. No, I'm not. <laughs> Very well. I think you're sick. Do you? No. Nah. Why do you think I'm sick? I know my phone was going off. I didn't know why. I was like, what the fuck is going on? For the listeners, man, let me just try to explain this. <laughs> why are you playing that record? Because that's my computer. I play when I'm on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me this wasn't a jam, nigga. It wasn't your shit? Now you're going to ignore me. That was me my then. shit, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> that was everybody's shit. So, so LimeWire special. Gotta change my answering machine. <laughs> now that I... <laughs> yeah, what more machines say now? I don't even have it. Yes, you do. No, I do not. No, you do. With the tape in it? I have no fucking answer machine. Yo, this is all I know, listeners. I ain't going to beat y'all down with inside jokes that y'all outside of. But you know. Last podcast, we got toward the end. Mm-hmm. Maul said, yo, stop, stop everything. Parks, cut that off. <laughs> I'm about to bless the streets with this new party banger. Mm -hmm. Right. Y'all not up on this. I'm going to utilize my platform Uh, to put y'all on to what I think will be the smash of the next decade. If I remember correctly, I think you referred to him as your family. He Mm. did. He did. That's Hip Hop Big's affiliation. Mm. That's Rock Nation affiliation. Okay. Mad affiliations. Good music. Mm. OVO, you never know. OVO, you OVO, never know. You was kind of yeah. rapping and all you that. I'm saying you know that, on. but you know what I'm saying? Hey, for 300, I thought I'm he was going to have to go to the Black Thought Masterclass, but nah. He's like, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Though I don't really like that Black Thought is biting off more, but that's neither here nor That's there. a good point, too. That yeah. is true. That is a good point. Uh, so you played, you played the Partisan Fontaine joint. Mm-hmm. Good, had my, good album. Had my head nodding because my yeah. neck knew it was fresh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Put your own money up for the record. <laughs> and then yes, that, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Rory. Yes. You called your brother up, yo, Hop. Mm-hmm. I know you heard of this kid party. <laughs> yo, he working. <laughs> he working. He, he, got a, he got a whole album. Hey, <laughs> he working. Fucking wrote all of Cardi shit. Yeah, yeah. won a Grammy last year. <laughs> Fuck is mad established. Yo, he working. And not even a few days after you break this artist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maul definitely broke party last episode. Right, right. Yo, we was here. Yo, this is great. Matter of fact, few... Shorty might have found out about him <laughs> from more. I can see that. I can see that happening. Wow. Oh, shit, Rory. I didn't even do the math. I didn't mm. even do the science. <laughs> Y'all are sick. <laughs> do the science. I think Cash might have said to party. Y'all I think I'm about to do the Joe Budden podcast. Mm-hmm. This nigga named Maul is supposed to hit me. Mm-hmm. And party probably said, nah, that's dead now. Yeah. <laughs> Doing a party podcast. <laughs> 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 Ma, well, we joking around, but not even a few. You gotta speak to your emotions. Not even a few. Days, my not even a few days later, mm-hmm. so much footage comes out. A lot of footage <laughs> of your ex, mm-hmm. Cash Doll. <laughs> this is <Yeah>. footage <laughs> touching the body of a of party mm-hmm. and smiling. Yeah, at SOBs, your spot. Very disrespectful. True. The house that you built. You right. built that. Right. Yo, you built this city. Very disrespectful. <laughs> Very disrespectful. Yo, we're here for you. Thank you. If I you need to talk. That. Thank you. So now, damn, she's going to hit him with the turnaround pick mm-hmm. on Maul. You know what I'm saying? Just gave Maul the angles. Look at what could have been on the pod. Pardon mm. my back. <laughs> mm, party, partisan my <laughs> back. Mm. <laughs> so many on party yeah. parts in my yeah, back. Yeah, she throw more parts in my back. <laughs> Damn. So, so now we get into the bottom of why why she never called you back. 
and why she never did our pod. Yeah. Damn. It's okay. Omarion's not the only one. It's a dirty, it's a dirty industry, man. You know? So I can say <laughs> Omarion. <laughs> 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 you know, so you're not gonna speak to this. I mean, you know, you're not, you're not gonna tell us how you feel about it. Oh, uh, it's, it's Luton, very, Luton. very disrespectful. Um, but you know, I understand. I get it. I understand. It's okay. Damn. I'll be all right. See, and that's I'll be all right. I, yeah, yeah. I see. You There's try, more fish in the sea. You, you know what I'm saying, uh, Parks? That's all. All right, all I don't right. know if you hired a PR person, but I see you really tried to handle the streets well with a bunch of relaxes. A lot of X's. Uh. All right, we we've heard from a lot of exes, a lot of exes, a lot of exes. Yeah, let them know. That's that's my ex now. Let's see if we've heard from Maul. Let's maybe hear what Jay Bone had to say about things. Hey, hey, hey. uh huh, yo, son of a bitch, (laughs) son of a bitch, son of a bitch, Uh, sob, (laughs) sob. Come on, Look at homie, yo, let me know what you're gonna do. Come on, Maul, give it to him. At sob, son got my Uh, bitch. I want to blast yes, right. y'all, partisan and cash doll. <laughs> she ain't choose me because I ain't had a cash doll. <laughs> I want to blast y'all, partisan and cash doll. <laughs> uh, I remember when it was cash more. <laughs> I want to blast y'all. <laughs> Last week it was cash more. Uh, cool. Partisan and cash doll. Mm. I want to yeah. blast y'all. Uh, Joe, Joe is stupid. You yeah. ass. Because that's exactly where rappers would go from that. <laughs> blast y'all. Uh, this nigga's stupid, man. Yo, so just when I thought that this love triangle couldn't get messier. Mm. Goes deeper? Come on, Park always goes deeper, man. As soon as I was about to hit Maul to reach out, See how his heart was feeling. Actually, man, unbreak my heart. See how my <laughs> see how my actually unbreak. You know, I still got unbreak my heart he in the Serato. Don't come oh on! Oh my god! What it's the hell? There's definitely no unbreak my heart in there. How do you don't have unbreak my heart? This is crazy. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me speed this up. Some yo. So a few days after, I was about to hit Maul to check up on his heartache and pain. Mm-hmm. I appreciate that. I see Cash Doll put up a video. Mm. Saying, you know what? Let me tell you niggas what my real beef was with Nicki Minaj. I said, oh shit, Maul is in a jam now. <laughs> Maul, oh my God. Which way will he go? Who will who will he side with? Onika or Cash? Cash, 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 Cash. Oh, cash. Party made that decision for him. <laughs> it's a dirty industry, man. This is a cutthroat industry. Sing it to us. <laughs> Sing it to us. Pain cash down. <laughs> Don't let me out the rain with partisan. <laughs> <laughs> Turn this shit off, man. All right, more. I don't want to play with us. Well, all right, no, this so, is episode 300, yeah, man. Come no, on, play with us. I'm playing along. So, so hey, cash, man, you hurt, nigga. Oh, I'm not hurt. <laughs> cash, well, act hurt. Cash was explaining on IG Live that Nikki had DM'd her about a bunch of stuff and she was mad. Mm. Do we think that maybe Nikki was riding because Maul is her brother? That's Holy family. Shit, that boys. maybe Nikki hit cash. Like, yo, you out here doing my son crazy. Holy like, f- all this PDA at SOBs. Yeah. Right. And then cash hit her back, like, yo, you delusional. <laughs> Me and Maul was never nothing. Mm. Mm. Damn. That's crazy. <sighs> I mean, what you want me to do, Joe? You know what I mean? You, you never know. You, know. you think you know people, but you never really know. No, no. Well, you just gotta fuck through the pain. No, is right. she is Come she on, in a know. tough crowd he's, he's hoodie right there? The <laughs> <laughs> he's been fucking through the pain. <laughs> oh man! All right. Well, listen. Uh, I'm joking around, but that that uh, that party shit at SOBs looked hard. It did yeah. like his album's dope. So. He he set that up in SOBs in a way that I. Oh, <laughs> this shit's right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's your first Wait, time seeing that vid. Yeah, that vid been out. Oh yeah, that's been in the streets for yeah, a while. Yeah, I love the fake nip slips. Like they're great. <laughs> yeah, keep them coming. What is wrong? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me shut up. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Shout out to party man. That looked that looked like an amazing time at SOBs. I wish I'd have known. I'd have been there. He brought Cardi out, but a few people. I brought Brooklyn Johnny out. It was great. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. brought cash doll out too. Hmm? Brought cash doll out too. Oh. And gave her a seat. <laughs> 
And you can't even find a seat in SOBs. That's the crazy part. Yeah. No, the well, VIP. No, oh, no yeah. the VIP yeah. nook. Right in the vip. Oh, the nook. <laughs> that used to be your nook. Yeah. She's sharing, she sharing nooks with niggas now? <laughs> <laughs> no, you show a nigga where my nook was at, dude. <laughs> That's the worst. Yeah, that's like when, that's the worst. when Shorty take the new dude to the restaurant. You put yeah, her on to right. What type of shit is like, that? Like, you put her on the SOBs, mom. I'm show her my nook. <laughs> I was like, I don't really be mad at the, when you can take her to the restaurant. Don't don't like the spot on her. I only like the nigga. Here <laughs> 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 yeah, you come, want to encourage some shit. Yeah, now you I like mean, steak yeah, all yeah. of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> don't fucking try to fucking slap her ass where my name is. <laughs> Yo, keep your hand off my name on her back. That's why <laughs> yeah. tattoos are important. Yeah, don't, don't fucking come uh, on my name, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what yo, you, come you on saying, my yo, name. Look, uh-oh, uh-oh, let's talk to STD, man. Uh, what you mean, yo? You don't think that ever happened to you? Nah. Oh, you're not ill enough to get a chick to tattoo your name on her. <laughs> Unlimited guess, man. Look at they look good together too. Oh, no, no, no. You you could just post a simple ass picture and somehow they look good together. Yeah, yeah they goals. Oh my god, people are so yeah. stupid. More hating. You, you <laughs> used to be goals. That's goals now. When you was cash mall. <laughs> yeah, I'm not cash mall. No, no you coin. I see you tried to give him the orange today because he had the orange scully on. I see what you was trying ah. to do. Let him know you, Yo, clap you, back. you could do the Rory orange as well. Clap <laughs> back. Just cash. I could do orange too. My, but my thing is, where will he go from here? Like uptown, right. that's a good strategy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. right to Dykeman. Okay, ain't no cash doll up there. Mm-hmm. There's something else up there. <laughs> Dyke, right. Dykeman in the winter. Right. 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 All right, I'm done. I'm going right to made in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> you know the vibes up there. All right, so what else? What else do we have that's that's important? I got a lot of shit that's not important. Good, I like I, that. I, yeah. fig- I figured your man air fizzle out while while Rory is looking for some well, I was shit. Say we stay music, but go ahead. I. Oh, that's music. Then give me this phone. I figured Air Fizzo out. 36 minutes in is not really the time that I had moved aside to tell y'all about Air Fizzo. We just did a punch. Can, Mo, can you do that again? No, not you, Parks. Can you? Uh, Mo, do it again. Tell, me, tell us you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we got to check with Hop to see if he's ready. That's true. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> This time is for the money. 300 episodes. <laughs> Gave it to you. Five years. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you, you smoke way too many Newports to do that. Yeah. Turn me up. Turn Rory down. <laughs> <laughs> Mall <Mom> Parks. <laughs> we about to get these niggas. <laughs> this time is for Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> this time is to break even. Yeah. This time is for the money when you was about the money your whole career is coming. <laughs> yeah, the whole was the greatest. The whole bitches! <laughs> All right, where we was at. I was about to give y'all a musical breakdown on Air Fizzo because he's releasing music and that's why all this bullshit is happening. And Do I we was need bored. A musical breakdown? I, hey, I was bored the other night, so I listened to it. <laughs> hey, when it's what said, are you talking about? What hey, Fizzo when, talking about? I'm gonna let you hear it. All right. Hey, when he said Lincoln bio, I clicked it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that line normally don't work on me. Yeah, what Air, Fizzo said. Air, yeah. Air Fizzo said, link in bio. Boy, did I click it fast. Yeah. Heard the new Smash Mirror. Mm. Mm. Gonna play it for you guys a little later with a lyrical breakdown. <laughs> now. I'm looking Damn, forward you gonna to te- you're gonna tease the audience like that? <laughs> yeah, come on, man. The Kings. <laughs> the Kings. <laughs> Air Fizzo. You know what I mean? Oh, it's gonna I'm come sure full circle sure later. Fast forwarding right now to get right to the Fizzo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the Grammys. Let's talk about the Grammys. Okay. Grammy nominations have been released. Boy, did it cause an uproar again. Like it <laughs> every, every fucking year. year. I don't see why this year. Because right. Wally, Wally didn't get one. Was he even in the I don't the think cycle? he was, yeah, no, he was don't, in the don't cycle. Don't try to be down with us, Rory. All your Ducey friends were on the timeline that morning. Yo! Robbed Wally. I, I'm not going to stand here and say I saw my, it. my do say friends are good with calendars, but to my friends, <laughs> I'll hit the group chat later. I don't think he quite made it a month ago in the cycle. So he no, no, no. Never opens well, no, he before. said he was eligible. He did say he was eligible. Wale did say he was okay. eligible. Uh, but off of that, I'm, I'm kidding around about the Wale shit. Uh, what did you guys think about the, nom- the nominees, the nominations, the snubs, the not so snubs? Um, I didn't see like a, a any drastic snubs. I mean, I would like to see. Uh, you know, Freddie Gibbs in there, but Gibbs, that's never going to happen. Gibbs was the number one yeah. thing that I saw for uh, rap album of the year. Yeah. 
Uh, Rhapsody probably should have been in there too. Yeah. yeah. I felt like Rhapsody should have uh, been th- All right. I guess my problem with the best rap album one here is I've said that Tyler's album is my favorite. It's not a rap album. It should not be in the best rap album category. Yeah. It's not a rap album. Yeah, I agree. At but all. Is, but where, where would they put it? That's a good question. Man. I don't know, but it's not rap. But where would they put it? That would be R&B before it'd be rap to me. Yeah. I feel like they have... Or alternative. Nom- I feel like they've nominated albums before that were not... Uh, oh, no. They've done this for plenty sure. of times. <laughs> Childish Gambino might have been one of them. I think so, yeah. Yeah. See, I'm sure Drake was probably one of them. He's more rap than, than uh, that Tyler, Tyler album. Yeah. I, but yeah, rap, Rhapsody and Freddie Gibbs, I think, should have been in the, the best rap album category. Uh, I'm not surprised. Best, best that, rap album, Dreamville, Tyler the Creator with uh, Igor, Meek Mill Championships, 21 Savage, and YBN Corday with The Lost Boy. Congrats uh, to YBN. These Those are, are all good these albums. These are five really good albums. Yeah. Absolutely. I also think it speaks to how weak the year has been. I agree. I agree. I would like to see Bad Bunny get uh, more than whatever international album he got nominated for. Well, I got stu- uh, album of the year to go me. back, go back, scream in my ass to change the fucking screen. Out of those right there, I, I would have to say Tyler would win. Yeah, me too. Out of that best rap album, I agree because it's the best Tyler album there, the but best it's album but it's there. not the yeah. best rap album there. Yeah, but that's yeah. something you know. It is if he's a rapper. He didn't rap on the album. There's like yeah. one verse in the entire. Album. If that. <laughs> That don't matter anymore. When yeah, I told y'all that looking, Kanye didn't do a gospel like, album, you yeah. told me yes, he did. It's the same shit. <laughs> okay. Like, I, and, and and listen, I'm down with you if you're going to uh, offer a solution as to where it should be. Uh, alternative, R&B alternative. I don't have all the categories I would be mad. In, fr- in no, front then I would of me. Be if they put that Tyler album in the alternative category, I would be angry. I would feel like they're trying they to take just our, put it in our best, guy. Best album of the year. It should have just been a Yeah, just no. That should be just... Best album. I agree with you more. It's That's where best I should. Yeah. Best album. All right, y'all tell me. Y'all tell me who wins this for y'all. Tyler, uh, Rory Tyler, said Tyler. Tyler. Park yeah, says Tyler. Tyler. Maul says Tyler. Yeah. Uh, how old is that YB and Cordae kid? That album is great. Why? Great. I am that so proud. How old is he? Yeah, how old He's is he? Like oh, I thought you said how old is he? Young. Yeah, 19, 20, something like He's that. super young. Google, oh, okay. Google so how old he is. Let's find out. I don't want to fuck it up, but I am super proud of that kid. Absolutely. I'm proud of him, too. I'm not going to kill him for posting that video he posted. Oh, no, you can't. Still young. No, you can't, man. He's 19, 20 years old. 22. Uh, 22 cents. Actually, shit. no, no. I'm going to kill him for no, that. No, no, don't do that, more. Listen, don't fam, do that. you don't cannot. Do that. Don't do that. Listen, don't listen, do that. You cannot record yourself crying. <laughs> I, I, I want to take a stand. No, I'm, no, no, no. I'm you're not taking a stand on it. I, I do want to not take... hold a phone to your face while you're crying. Maul. I'm sorry. All right. That is Maul's take. That's weird. That is Maul's <laughs> take. And I like that kid. I like him a lot, but don't do that. Like, you're 22. I'm tired of saying 22 is young. It is young. Prodigy put out if, <laughs> the shit he was putting yeah. out. Snoop Dogg put out the shit he was putting out. Different when he was time, before. different yeah, era. Yeah, so when, raise, you're, 22, raise, when, you're, when no. you're 22, you're a grown man. No, you're not. Yes, you are a grown man at 22. Oh, please. You you're, kind of you're, you're a grown man at 22. I'm not listening to you. You're a Joe. fucking idiot at 22. No, you're a grown man at 22. You are an idiot. You're a grown, you have grown, 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 grown man. It's, it's, grown, it's idiots idiot. at 32. You're a grown idiot. Yeah. Yes, idiots at 32. At 22, you're well, old enough to know. I used, I used to ride with you in this whole don't cry to your friends. That shit thing. is weird. Have that moment by yourself. Let, you don't need to show the world let, you're crying. No, 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 no. The world was championing him, celebrating him. Nah, for his bro. That's weird shit. That's weird you're shit. You're a young kid. Hey, YBN, listen to me, bro. Don't do that again. All right, well, you can say that to YBN. Yeah. I'm going to tell the rest of you idiots out there that I'd much rather see you crying your phone over your over being proud about an achievement or accomplishment than you throwing up your gang signs in the phone. Or incriminating you, yourself. Then, the, yeah, yeah, then you yeah. purchasing guns on your phone. True. Then you putting your money phone up on your phone. Then you uh, detailing a crime on your phone. Right. All of the shit that you idiot fucking rappers do on your phone it's, it's too y'all have created too long of a list of the fuck shit y'all very popular today. <laughs> what's going on it's a Joe Budden from the Joe Budden podcast oh god I'm not doing this hello who's speaking are you calling 97 <laughs> <laughs> wait hold up let me see if this is calling 97 We've got two tickets to yo. the live show Oh, wait, in yo, Baltimore. you know what's funny? Wait, 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 wait. Don't do that. Don't do that. Hello? Yeah? Oh, what am I doing? I fucked something up. Yo, this, can you hear me? Yeah. This is what, don't do that, because your, your single just dropped, and I was feeling like, you know what I mean? I was feeling like I might have had a little sleeper for the streets. I mean, listen. Listen, I don't know. I don't know. What's oh. up, y'all? It's your girl, Sis Santana. Uh, I'm right. No questions. All right. All, 
all right. right now. <laughs> on all platforms. You don't even know how to say it. <laughs> on uh, <laughs> Spotty <of> Tunes. <laughs> Go. <laughs> yeah, I might, I might hit the streets with a little something. Uh, let me get off yeah, the show. Yeah, you should. I, I got it. I know. I'll call you back. All right. Uh, yeah, where was that in this shit? Grammys. Uh, the yeah. Grammys. Uh, why, yeah, all, all the list. The list of things that rappers do really stupid and incriminating on their phone has grown too long for me to rip uh, rip people about them crying to their phone. I understand Maul's point because Maul is from Harlem and Harlem niggas have just been the coolest niggas since Earth. But no, for the people just, that are outside of Harlem, <laughs> no, it's not like, that. We, it's we just cry. That, it, no, you can cry. No, listen, you can cry. But I cry every week when yeah. a million little things comes on. Yeah, but you can't. But you holding your phone and crying into your phone is just weird to me. Like, have that moment. I'm cry i'm happy for him have that moment you don't need to show the world that moment of you crying have that moment and then after you're done make a video of you thanking everybody and for supporting the album but crying into your phone is some weird new shit that i just can't get with i'm sorry if you want to have a moment of, of your emotions and all have it but you don't have to share that cool. everything does uh, not need right. to be shared right. that's the problem all right congratulations <laughs> no, that's first of all i said that first i said that i said that first no 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 i said that well deserved yeah, yeah i said that i like the best new artist i like i like yeah. YBN. i think he's super talented super dope i love that kid but don't do that again don't cry to you <laughs> Let this be the last time you do that. That's Mo- all. Mo- is such a- good luck, though. Let's go get him again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good luck. All right, Scream Man, what, what else we got? What else we got? Uh, best rap performance. J. Cole, Middle Child. Dreamville, J.I.D., Bass, J. Cole, Earth Gang, and Young Nudie on, I can't see, Down Bad. Down and Bad. The Baby Shook. Offset and Cardi for Clout. Nipsey Hussle featuring Roddy Rich and Hip I would love Boy to see Nip win that. For racks in the middle. I'm almost positive that the baby will win that one. Or Cole. Or Cole. Yeah, yeah. I can see Cole. Cole, win Cole doesn't have a Grammy yet, though, right? I don't know. No? I don't think Cole uh, has one yet. He needs I, to get a Grammy. I, I see that either going to baby or Cole as well. Now, what I will say is, from the Dreamville album in the last category and the two Dreamville selections here, it looks like they want to give Cole an album. I mean, a Grammy. Yeah. It looks like they want to acknowledge him somehow. But then again, this isn't the first time someone's been nominated in hip hop 30 times and got no Grammys. Yeah, that's true. This happens that happens year. often. Yeah. Every but, year. but rap performance means, and I feel like I ask this every year, but I do too. Performance I, I still don't get it. on the song, right? I think that's what it how means. You how well how, did you rap? Yes. Yeah. That's what that means. And if that's what that means. Who better to tell us than the Grammys? J. Cole. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but thank, it, thank it, you for clearing this up. <laughs> uh, if that's what that means, then J. Cole should get this. Yeah, yeah middle child should win there. Yeah. It feels like to me they tried to they tried to throw the baby in a whole bunch of shit to make up for the fact that the baby and Meg, the two clear cut winners for new artists of the year, yeah. were not nominated for new artist of the year. <laughs> Slow down, yeah. scream man. Scream man. Like, why are you going through? You're trying to find the. Uh, you just, you're trying to find new artists. You just I, do I what you it. want. <laughs> uh, Let's move on. Yeah. No, who do y'all got winning that? We just said Cole. J Cole. Oh, yeah. oh, we all said Cole. Yeah, I think so. I got the baby winning that. Yeah, but you did. <laughs> Best rap performance. I could see that because I feel like they have to give the baby something for that for can, that new can artist. Cha- can blunder. we change this to who we think should win? Because the Grammys are going to Grammy. That's true. <laughs> All right, so yeah. I think J. Cole should win. I would not be surprised if the baby wins or, Which I'm not or, mad or at. Cardi. Because Cardi's going to be the only star that to show up. I'm not mad at hey, That Racks in the Middle record is, is, is a dope record. That shit is super hard. Yeah. It is. I just don't think they're going to give it to uh, give it to Nipsey and them. I, but let, yeah, I think the baby and no and and I'm only going I'm only not going with the baby here because the baby to me easily wins uh, song of the year. Mm. And that's the other reason I think they're okay with the new artist snub. I they cannot give that that to somebody else. Mm-hmm. That Suge record is the song of the year. Yeah, rap well, song. I, agree. I, up? No, I don't think you're off. I don't think you're off. All right, so let's let's go, scream man. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it. Best rap song performance. You know, uh, Nas, you know, uh, song, you know, Lil Nas is gonna win this one. Nas, Lil Nas with Panini, Khaled with uh, Nipsey and John Legend higher, Lil Baby and Gunna Drip Too Hard, Mustard featuring Roddy Rich, Ballin', Young Thug featuring Travis Scott and J Cole, The London. The London was a big song. It was. Yeah. Oh, that's a great fucking rap in song. Oh that. wait, no, no, that's no, a no, good no, category. no, 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 Baby, Lil Gunna Baby and Gunna, I'm rolling. I'm, I'm rolling. That's me and my mom's song. <laughs> you know, my mom nah, Drip Too Hard is, is dope. 
Uh, best I, rap sung though, like just straight up rap sung. Nipsey and John Legend kind of yeah, they should it win for that. just a straight yeah. up rapping and they then singing that. record. Nah, that's they should win that. But I think no, they, they I think Lil Nas will win that. No, they shouldn't. Lil Baby and Gunna, that record played all year long, everywhere you went, every region, every I'm, coast, I'm not, you radio my point. streams. Miss my point. I'm talking about directly with what it's saying. Rapping and then singing. Oh, the best right. rapping and, and the, the best, best singing. singing. Yes, yeah. performance. I think Nipsey and John Legend did the best if we're going about who rapped and sung the best. Yeah, but this. I can't take your word because you never met nobody at the London. So how, <laughs> how, how, how could you give a genuine answer? I don't even know where the London is. Come on, so. then, come on, y'all niggas is peasants, man. Yeah, you're right. Um, all right, but I can see that. I can see that, Rory. Go back. I can see Khaled. I can see Lil Baby and Gunna. I could see Lil Nas X because his label has has had they've had to spend over thirty million dollars. Anybody this. else notice that Lil Nas X was not uh, nominated for any country awards, and no one is upset about that. <gasps> well, the only country record he has is Old Town Road, that is popular. It's Panini's the, not a country record. It's the biggest song of the year. Man, the wasn't that last? The biggest wasn't that song? last Grammy? No, nah. That's oh, then that should then yeah. It's, I'm, it's not well, any, now. I'm outraged. Yeah, we should be outraged. <laughs> yeah, should, now I'm Rory. outraged. Yeah. I, need, I need to see Airport Rory. <laughs> 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 yes, that, that, that's who I'm looking for. Get out. Part should I talk to my father about this one? <laughs> yeah, you should. You should. <laughs> Scream man, let's do it. <laughs> Hit it, Jack. Panini is trash. By Hit the way. it, Scream Jack. <laughs> that song is awful. <laughs> I don't even like paninis. Panini is so bad. I like paninis if they're nah, not right. I'm just, I like paninis. Don't get it wrong. But. I'm just be sitting in the case for mad long. I'm not really with I always thought wraps was paninis. No. They kind of are. No, right? they're not. It's yeah. a flat wrap. Same <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's not wrapped, though. Album of the year. Lil Nas X. Get the fuck <laughs> out of this category, <laughs> buddy. Word. I know your label spent a lot of money, and that's why you're here, but cool. That's I won't, insane. I won't shit on him. Go Lil Nas. I'm proud of him. Lana Del Rey, Norman fucking Rockwell. I haven't heard that album, so I won't pretend that I know. I listened to it once. That's going to win. (laughs) The one you you never heard is going to win. That's how it usually goes, though. Yeah. Oh, but there's no, like, super... At least this year, there's not, like, a who the fuck is that. You at least know who Lana Del Rey is. I'll give him credit for that. Yeah. A lot of years, it's like... There's there's a who the fuck is that. Who the fuck is Vampire Weekend? Oh, no, they're dope. That's a rock band. Oh, that's Evil Weekend. Oh, okay. (laughs) They're dope. (laughs) That's Weekend when he got bit. Oh, okay. Listen. Nah, hold on. I got to play. We got to give some credit to to her, man. To who? To her. Her does not have an album. <laughs> <laughs> and never has. It has bad Grammy nominations And she's for been an album of the year. Yeah, that's a fact. She has been finessing the Grammys. <laughs> that's a fact. I used to know her. How many songs is that? A I used lot. To know her. A lot, because she, uh, she put all of her projects oh, like, together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, plant, now, there's a lot of plant based action now, here in the but, but, albums but, of the year. Well, hold on, this is a great. <laughs> this is it's, a, a, it's a vegan Grammys this year. This, a, this is a great conversation, uh, only because greater than Rory's to, or to add to Rory's point, even she was nominated last year too. Yeah, that's for, what I'm saying. For, that's why for, I played for finesse. album of the year. <laughs> but I am I am not going to call this a finesse, and this is when I will take the opportunity to explain to the audience a small piece of how some of this works. Take, for instance, her Lucky Day. I am super proud of Lucky Day, man. Me too. Congrats. Give him man. applause. Oh, yeah. God. He got what, four four nominations? Four Something them. like that. That's four fire. Shout out to Lucky. Four of them on that painted project, man. I am so happy for well, him. Well deserved. After the pool party, he, you know, I spoke to him and he was expressing like that artist frustration where you feel like you're just putting your best foot forward and you're beefing with the label and you're not really getting with you know what I mean it's right. so so for not even a few months later to get four Grammy noms like when I was talking to YB and Corday about him possibly getting a Grammy nom one day it seemed so unbelievable to him it seemed so far fetched so to watch these kids go through it I'm just super proud of him but back to my point her if I'm not mistaken and I might be mistaken well, yeah, I might be mistaken, so let me not use her. But Lucky Day last year performed on that commercial break new artist thingamajiggy, right? The one they put mm-hmm. outside. Yeah. Sometimes inside, too. Okay. Sometimes inside. Like, when they break into the commercial, yeah. they'll go and let some new artists perform on the side. And last year at the Grammys, Raphael Sadiq introduced Lucky Day. That's dope. And he performed in that in that spot. Yeah. What I know about that spot is that is where you go when your team or your label or somebody wants to highlight you and they're playing nice with the Grammy board. 
What, uh, what? You, know, you know who also did that seven years ago? Gabby Wilson, who was her. Oh, uh, and she yes. played the guitar. Yes, uh, I remember yeah, that that's, vividly. That's, that's 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 what I was getting at. <laughs> uh-huh. So I won't call it a finesse. I feel like some of these people, their teams, like me and Park said the other day, though, these awards are not for the artists; it's for the labels, their teams, of yeah. who worked you. Yeah, for her to do that and be where she is now with these two nominations and no real album out for Lucky Day to do that last year with the support of Rafael Sadiq and not even a year later have have this type of success. It tells me that there might just be some truth to the whole play nice to the Grammy board. For sure. Some, Absolutely. some truth. Well, well, That's the whole truth. But but the fans... It's whether you want to do oh, it or right. not. I don't think you're the right. fans think anything right. about that. Absolutely. Yeah. And and it's important. Um, Lizzo, I'm a little sick of you. She can go. <laughs> Honestly. Am I, listen, I, am I the only one? I listened to her album for the first time. I, I, it wasn't really for me. Did you put it back? Yeah. I, I just heard her name. I just heard her name too fucking much it's move just move I, every single one of them songs is in a commercial I uh, yeah so. I mean I've ex- expressed prior to the plant accusations last week I'm not the biggest Lizzo fan yeah she's very talented I don't she take is. that away from I'm her I'm saying for me it's yeah, just, yeah. for me I'm, I'm cool it's I not, think, my, not my type of music everyone up here is a little bit plantish like anytime someone drops their first album the first time we've ever heard them and it's fucking immaculately produced and mixed and it goes to the Grammys there's, there's some plant based action uh, going on. I'll, here. I'll be showing my white side here. If Ariana Grande wins, I think she kind of deserves it. That album was pretty good. It was, was pretty good. Album. It's a great yeah. album. Yeah. It's a great album. Yeah, I'm not mad at I might be on board with you on that, actually. The Bon Iver shit was cool. I don't know if I would put that in the album of the year, but I liked it. Y'all skipped over this Billie Eilish album. That album's really good, too. It's really good. I listened to that album. Yeah, she's really talented. I fuck with her. Uh, bon Iver, I have not heard, but I fuck with him. I haven't heard that album, and I don't know about Vampire Weekend. I was just joking earlier, Mom. They're dope. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can see that. one of these niggas I don't never heard of winning this. Yeah. Um, Vampire Weekend. I have no idea who will win this, so I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna say. Uh, I can. I can see this year. But you know when they always pick one artist to clean up. Right. Lizzo's Lizzo. Gonna, Lizzo's yeah. gonna clean up this year. Yeah. Or Billie Eilish, I think, would also be a safe bet. Everyone loves D- Billie. Didn't Eilish. listen to that album. So yeah, not people. rolling with the uh, Lil Nas album. No, that's no, not album because it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's not good either. Yeah, and that. Yeah, it's not an album, and it's not good. Okay. But this Lizzo shit, I wonder how much money you have to pay, your label has to pay for you to really win this award. I never know because I've never been that successful. But I don't you know. Even, I'm gonna go even, to Lizzo even the successful I'm artists go don't to really it. know. It's kind of like a Katy Perry album. Oh, they like that type of shit. Yeah. Boo. Yeah. <laughs> Screen Man, hit it, Jack. <laughs> Records of the year. Lil Nas X, Billy Ray Cyrus, Old Town Road. Her, Hard Place, Billy Eilish, Bad Guy, Ariana Grande, Seven Rings, Post Malone and Sway Lee. Yeah. Oh, I like that song, Sunflower. Oh, congr- uh, congrats, Mo. Cry on camera. You got a nom. Did it? All right, Rashid Sunflower. <laughs> Lizzo is back again with the truth hurts, looking like she's hurting. Uh, Khalid with Talk and Bon Iver with Hey Ma. Uh, record of the year. I don't know. Old Town I don't Road, know, and I don't man. care. Old Town Road should Old win Town this. Road's going to win that. They sure. should. Old Town Road should win that. Yeah, they yeah. should win that. That should win that. Scream, man, what else we got? Song of the Year nominees. Lady Gaga, Billie Eilish, Tanya Tucker, Lizzo, Lana Del Rey, Taylor Swift. Wait, her. what was the category before this? Re- record of the Year. So the difference is the song. This is for the songwriters, and that's for the And this is for the artists. artists. Yes. Gotcha. Right. But somehow they still have the artist. <laughs> and and somehow here. the artist goes up there and says, yo, thank you for giving me this war. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Um, and Old Town Road is not a <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> or or men. Why is there no men? Uh, Louis, Louis Capaldi. Ca- Louis Capaldi. I thought that was Ellen DeGeneres. Just old. That's not a man at all. That is a man. I thought that was Ellen. No, we're not doing that. 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 Look at Louis Capaldi. That's a man. That, that's that's that, a man. That is an old lesbian. That's mom. just a guy. <laughs> <laughs> that's just a, that's Ellen's ex. How many red flags? Are, uh, on, we keep a count. We're talking about seven red flags on this play right here. <laughs> Lewis Capaldi. All right, what else we got? Shout out to Lewis, man. Yeah, shout out to Lewis. Best new artist. Oh, Lizzo's about to clean up. I see what's going on. I, yeah, I'm yeah, trying yeah. to tell you. They I pick see. one every year. Well, Lil Nas is going to equally. I think they, Billie Eilish, the three of them, is going to just own this whole yeah. shit. I see what's going on. No, this is Lil Nas X uh, versus the Lizzo Tank, Awards. Tank and the Bangers is dope. That's actually really odd that they Black got this Black Pumas is dope, too. 
Tank and the, the Tank and the Bangers they have are. no chance. You would actually really like it. Are you talking about music? I am talking about music. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking, about, about, the we're talking about the Grammys, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm wearing nothing about music. Black Pumas. Yo, y'all don't like Black Pumas? <laughs> Wait till Black Levi's hit the stage. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I see what's going on. This is all nasty. I might boycott this shit. I'm not watching this shit. Yeah, right. Is there yeah. anything else? Yeah, I'm gonna watch uh, it. Well, really, R and B is on here. Best R and B performance. Are these the awards that are not going to be televised? Because I'm probably. Wanna, I'm yeah, not talking know. about nothing that's not televised. Well, yeah, these no, look no. like what we would like. Daniel Caesar, Brandy, Lucky Day, Rosamo. Uh, yeah, Cincinnati. so why don't y'all fucking televise the shit we would like? There you have the good Anderson Pack songs. How, how was uh, the shit with Smokey not the Anderson yeah, Pack song? Yeah, I agree with you. That's why. Come home. Shouldn't be the one on there. Yeah, no. Nah. Uh, PJ Chicago Kid, congrats. PJ Morton, Jasmine Sullivan, that congrats. Yeah, they got a few of my Lucky people. Day got up a here. real shot of winning a Grammy, man. Yeah. Lucky Day deserves a Grammy. I, no, I agree. But I'm saying without I'm question. The categories. He's like, he's yeah, the category. Shot. One of them. Once I saw R and B song of the year, I was like, all right. Mm-hmm. Like, cause he can get that. Yeah, he got a real shot. Uh, best R and B song. Rosa Mull has been my favorite R and B song, or one of them, since I played it here. And that That's was funny. quite some. I, that was a long time ago. I like Misunderstood. As, that's my favorite Lucky Day song. Me but, too, but that's not up there, Roy. Not, <laughs> not I'm just saying, I'm, I would have preferred to see. I like Flood. I really like what he did there. Uh, <laughs> best Urban Contemporary. I don't have anything more to say about the Grammys. Uh, do we think No Guidance gets that? Probably. Best R&B song? Wait, 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 wait. Best R&B song could have been by her. No. Look at me now. No guidance. Roll some more. Say so. Yo, that say so Damn, record that is hard. Say so record is say so is real shit, though. but they would never get that. With JoJo and PJ Moore, that, that's, that's a dope record. That whole project is fine. Just yeah. say so. Yeah, no, nah, I don't know about that one. Roll some more. No guidance. Look at me now. I don't fucking know, man. I don't know. I'm going to watch. Who's hosting this? Alicia Keys and Friends? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Friends. And Swiss. <laughs> and the piano. <laughs> Open up my window. <laughs> That's, That's what you're coming out to. If that, then I'm in. Yo, if the yeah. Grammy's open like that, uh, man, we, next level shit. Next level shit. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're anticipating the Grammys. I would like to read what Goldlink wrote. Okay. What over. What he, yeah, what do you say? Uh, I'll tell you as soon as It's I, right there. Underneath the yeah. Open up my window. That's my shit. Yeah. Dude, well, Gold Links, uh, is this about nominations? Because his album was great. He did have a really good album. He actually. had a really, really, really good album. Yeah. Yeah, it was about uh, nominations. There you go. Oh, there we go. Gold Link says, honestly, it's fuck Grammys till the day I die. I'm, I'm with Gunshot. you, Gold Link. Yeah, got to do it. I'm with you, Gold Link. Let me turn it on. I am no longer participating in that wild ass, slave ass, political ass, cheating ass game any longer. True. The lack of relevance you have just solidified today is unbelievable. Tyler got one fucking nomination in a category he didn't even participate in, knowing damn well he deserved album of the year. Facts. Facts. Burna Boy deserves more. Yeah. Facts. So does Bad Bunny. Facts. Bad Bunny too. Yeah. yeah. We just dropped some uh, yesterday. Uh, we're in Coffee deserves more. Coffee deserves more. The baby couldn't qualify for best new artist apparently because he had mixtapes in the past. That's some bullshit. Boy, do I object to that. Why? Why? Chance won it on a mixtape. Well, they move the goalposts for certain people. That's right. my point. <laughs> that's yeah. all I object. No, right. no, so that's his point. No, he's saying he, he, he's, he's this saying is bullshit. Yeah, safe, air quotes. You know, yeah. I get it. Yeah. No <laughs> nod to Solange for taking a risk, pushing the boundaries when nobody else was brave enough to do so. Slow down. Yeah. They don't, they don't, slow down. That's they don't, give, a, they don't give awards for that. <laughs> they get awards for pushing the boundaries. Yeah. No. Uh, there's not even a category for internationally black artists at all. Yeah, because who's that? There's one of them London kids that's just been killing like for, for two years now. What is it? Stormzy, one of them niggas. Stormzy is super dope. He's put out an album. Uh, one of them week. has been killing, killing. Yeah, yeah. London just kind of been smoking shit on the low. Yeah, yeah. and you still never met nobody at the London. <laughs> uh, what the fuck do you think these kids learn when you tell them their black art isn't good enough or isn't noticed at all? I've just gotten to a point after three years of being silent on this topic that my value is much beyond what closed door establishments have been giving us. Even how our peers are voting against us. I cannot partake. Admirable stance. I agree with it for the most part. This is a good, uh, yo, fuck you, I didn't get nominated. Yeah, uh, it very well thought out. Yeah. Brought up some great points. Right. 
<laughs> yeah, no, he wasn't just. He wasn't just. That's wasn't not just a rant. rambling. Yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. a rant. That's yeah. he's been. Th- he's been waiting for this to push this button, right? Yeah, I believe yeah. him when he says that. He said that when he says, you know, I've, I've tried to get this off for three years. I can't stand by sign anymore. Yeah. This year does kind of feel like a changing of the guard. Yeah, I feel like it's a tank for two in the music business a little bit. Like, none of the people, all the vets that are up there are, like, B vets. No disrespect to any any of those, because they're great, 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 Mad great Mad disrespect artists. to y'all. No, they're from, just not, where's from, Drake, from where's parts. Beyonce, where's, you know, like, no superstars really drop music this year, except for Kanye. But that well, was he's, a... Uh, he's nominated, though. Well, but, but yeah, J. Cole's Middle was, a, was a compilation, only... right? The Revenge yeah. album? Yeah. But I mean, Middle Child was only, like, record. I, that wasn't on the album. Right. Just dropped Middle Child, right? No, I think no, it was on the album. They added, yeah, they I think added it was a bonus it. Okay. type of thing. Yeah. Gotcha. I feel him, man. I don't have anything to add to this. It was well well worded, well put. Sounds like it was well thought out. Mm-hmm. And I agree. Yeah, I agree with everything you said. Um, that's all I got. Are y'all, are y'all anticipating anything else? Is there anything else about the Grammys that y'all want to share with the audience? Break uh, down, talk should we about? Try to, should we try to call Gold Link and... Get him to rant more. You have yeah, I would like yeah, that. Oh, I would love to. I would love to hear from Gold Link. Yeah, let's absolutely. try. He had a great album this year. He's been making some really dope music for a while now, though. That's a fact. Him and Brian. Oh, he's out of country. <laughs> that could uh, be yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah when you get the weird, yeah, he's out of here. When you get the weird beef. Uh, and I feel like maybe we should warn him. Before that call. <laughs> Yo, that shit you were saying about the Grammys, word. Yeah, go, go yeah. in. Expound. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, yeah. go in. That, go du- in. Double down on it. Yeah, yeah. Um, do we think? Uh, do we think the ratings will improve? Do we okay. think that the star power will improve? To somebody's point that they just said, uh, Beyonce probably won't see her. Probably yeah. won't see Jay Z. Probably won't see Rihanna. Probably won't see Drake. Probably right. won't see J Cole either. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely not seeing that. Well, no, nah. nah, I don't think he'll be there. I don't think so either. Yeah. I think if they already know just to help the Dreamville brand, if they end know. up on stage, I can see Cole wanting to do that. But maybe, but getting him to just not leave North Carolina. I think he was saying so. that he was going to disappear for a while. So he there did you go. just say that. Yeah, yeah, he did just say that. Yeah. Uh I don't watch it, man. But I'm gonna watch. It's a Sunday night. What the fuck else I'm gonna do? Football. Yeah, but I mean, tank for two. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> I'm back <laughs> on the. I'm back, I'm back on my watch. fuck the NFL wave too. Oh, what happened? Mom, I walk mom, that back. It's been, mom, it, it's mom, been three mom, hours. Yeah, I know, but more information came out. I gotta walk that back. What information? About the Kaepernick shit. What part? About what the NFL was trying to do with that waiver shit. Like, the that, details that was came out. That was out before. Yeah, we, we, talk, we, we, talked we talked about it last about week. It. But they really got into, like, what was what they the NFL was trying to do by getting him to sign it. So That okay. was out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. Nah, still fuck the NFL. Okay. Still. All right. You say that when Green Bay playing the Niners. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> they got some games this week. Yeah, yeah. That Ravens game. Ah, right, right. Oh, in a loud window. All right, so that's it for the Grammys. We'll see what's going on. Yeah. Let's uh, let's wrap up music. Uh, New Summer and Chris came out today. Where well, I couldn't find it anywhere. It was SoundCloud only or some shit? No, it was, it was on the DSPs. So. Uh, oh. Chris is not credited on it. It's just Summer uh, in London. Huh. I couldn't Where find I have not met nowhere. anyone. I went for to the Summer's third page. Time. I went to Chris Page. Couldn't find that shit. Nobody's shit. It's it's on the DSPs. Oh, okay. Uh, Joe's industry. He's had this record for quite some time, so I'm sure he doesn't want to talk about it because this is old news to him. Bird did that shit. <laughs> he right, has he has right. industry ties yeah, everywhere. Uh, Why you said Chris wasn't credited on it? He's, he's credited he's, on it. Oh, the when I pulled it up. Uh, London. Oh, London does vocals on this. I think he pads. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> And he produced He's on his Swiss shit Yeah Didn't say it up my end uh, Well I fuck with it It's a good record Really good record Uh huh Yo Got a little bad Yo. boy bop Uh Uh Young Ma, I just brung cash to the party. I never thought I'd lose cash to the party. Hey. <laughs> y'all, y'all lucky I'm retired. <laughs> I'm about to say, Joe, you got one more <laughs> verse of trying to get back no, into your form. Don't about do that. Me. Don't do that. Don't do I, got that. A, I got a verse for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me I, tell you something. You already knew I had fix the levels. I already uh, knew I had beef with Tory Lanez, but not Party Fontaine's. Mm. Rory, you've been trying to write a verse too. <laughs> I got a verse for you too, nigga. Mm. 
Don't, don't be like that. Don't do that. Stop. Nah, because I know he's trying to think of a bar. Don't do that. Don't do that. I, I see that look in your eye. No, I, I see that look in your eye. Nigga. Don't, don't be thinking of a bar while you look at me. No, we ain't doing that. Yup. 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 Partially, I'm going to start going crazy. <laughs> You want a gram <laughs> Have fun. Nah, I got an ill little scam. I'm saving all my verses for when Love and Hip Hop air. That's when I'm getting my shit off. That's oh, when no, my album dropped. Right yeah, my album dropped in December. Don't worry about it. You want a gram screaming who you with in the party. Just yeah. for Nick. You get Nick to the party. Oh, you know you're going to do it for Nick. You know you're doing it for Nick. Right. You get nicked in the party with the blick in the Ah, the blick, the blick, the blick. He tried to rhyme Nick and the blick. Yes, this yes. nigga's trash. This nigga's trash. He tried to rhyme Nick and the blick. Hey, let me tell you something on that fucking uh, on that Royce Black Savages record. Mm -hmm. In my head, the third verse is me. Oh, I know you wrote that. I'll set it to you in your head. Cleaned it right up. I know you wrote it. Cleaned it right. What was your, fir what was your first? Royce would have put me last on that one. Uh, I know. You, I know you wrote to that. That's your call, Royce. You should. Yeah, call Royce. Right now? Yeah. Just say what? Hi. Hi. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good record. Yeah, Royce should come up here and fucking talk to us. That's a yeah. fact. I miss Royce. It's only been 300 episodes. <laughs> right. I've only known yeah. him for 15 years. Yeah, that's true. All right, let's call him. Let's just call people and get them to congratulate us. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you heard the, you heard about the 300? <laughs> What's up, what's up, my name? Nicky! What's, what's the word? How are you, bro? I'm doing well. How you doing? I'm great. We, we're we on the air, right? And I was talking about the Black Savages record, and I was telling Maul and Rory that in my head, I'm the third verse on that record. <laughs> <laughs> but only in his head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, in my head, I moved T.I., and I'm the third verse. And then these niggas asked me what, like what my lines was like they didn't think I could keep up like they shitted on me oh so uh, man I, 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 yeah. I, how quickly how quickly we forget oh, it's, it's, it's Royce fast, this nigga fast, ain't in fast, shape that's crazy Royce this nigga he ain't Royce, in I shape my nigga. he's yeah. not in shape I, I couldn't I even I couldn't even I couldn't even talk my shit about Joe when we was doing Slaughterhouse y'all so busy defending him now <laughs> nigga retired <laughs> nigga retired for two months and now y'all shitting on him I, I, I can't stand for that yeah yeah they, 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 they treat me bad he man not, he not in shape Royce he not in shape man hey but wait Royce I told I told Maul cause he's been saying that to me for a while I told him he may be right I'm not in shape I feel like two weekends in Detroit, two weekends over there at that Heaven Studios, and I'm, back, <laughs> and I'm right back on the ass. Oh, well, yeah. Nah, bro, you, I, I'll whip you in the shape so quick. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know Do why. Would you get that Jets pizza in you? And, and, no, but Maul and Rory, they know about fucking Royce rap conditioning training camp. Yes. So, so why y'all think, why y'all think no, I I'm would just be saying in right camp? now, right now you're not in shape. I'm not saying once you go there in for no, two weeks. No, right now when Sahib was doing all that, make sure they have the hot sauce on my temperature. I'm yeah, like, all right, yeah. all right, all right. <laughs> Royce, Royce. You, wanna, uh, Royce. You, know what Maul, you know, Maul always wants to like, he wants to believe that there's a whole lot of competition out there. He want to believe it's, 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 it's some type of bar that we performing around. Yeah. We just, you know. Yeah. The yeah. bar. No, the bar that y'all said. That's all. Nah, I nah. don't fucking come. You got to keep up to that. You ain't, you, ain't, you ain't that no more, Joe. You know that. Yo, all right. This is not about me. I okay. just want to talk to Royce. Okay. So, oh, no. I wanted to make it about you. Royce, Joe is in a satin sweatsuit, a Balenciaga hat, and the barber faded his beard. No, no, no. Do you no, think no. he's able to rap right now? <laughs> no, 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 Does this yeah, sound like yeah. someone that wants to rap for real? He, 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 he still got it. He still got it. It's just... He not real. He not real good at being rich, man. Everybody ain't got that gift. <laughs> Every, everybody ain't Yo, got that shit. I've been trying to figure it out. That's the perfect sentence. Yeah. Joe is not good yeah. at being rich. That's a fact. I'm not good at a lot. <laughs> And it's he trying, he trying, he trying bad hard. I'm following on he's Instagram. He's in all velvet right now, head to toe. <laughs> he's in he's he's all velvet, so hard. all I'm velvet. Hey, Royce, oh, I, yeah, yeah. I am trying hard out here, man. Royce, this like, nigga, I, 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 I just want to. Sometimes I just be wanting to get in your comments and go, bro, relax. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Royce, this nigga like got to go to a baby shower and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Royce, this nigga got on a velvet onesie, man. Oh my God! This is a Balenciaga sweatsuit. Anyway, oh my God! <laughs> That's how you stunt. It work. <laughs> what? It's, it's projected embroidery. I thought you would have noticed. Projected <laughs> embroidery. <laughs> Let, Royce, when are you coming to sit with us? This is our 300th episode, and we're calling you so you could congratulate us. 
<laughs> Congratulations, man. Congratulations. I'm really proud of y'all for what y'all doing too, man. Well, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate that, boys. Like, y'all are literally like it's 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 uh it's a little weird for me to watch because y'all are basically doing the same thing that y'all used to do at the video shoots. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Now y'all just getting paid for it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Hey, do they do that at video shoots still? Like just talk shit? <laughs> no, bro, that was only us. That was only us. <laughs> Us and the contingency crew. The contingency exactly. Crew. Yeah. Uh, exactly. I, I, I hit uh I hit Mike earlier and said uh me and him need to go to dinner. I miss Mike. I miss Mike too. <laughs> yeah, no. Mike, 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 my nigga. Mike's a savage. That's he, a fact. Savage. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't only speak to savages these days. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I fuck with Mike. I miss him. I miss him. I love him. But you're coming up here soon. I'm sure because you're dropping music, and we would like to talk to you. If I yeah, see my you own. on fucking drink champs, <laughs> I tell you, buddy, <laughs> come here first. No. Don't do me like Fab. I'm coming to see you first, but I'm telling you, my album gonna bring you out of retirement. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm here. Hey, Royce, I, uh, Corey definitely texted me and said I gotta hit an album. Yeah, Kino, Kino spoke very highly of it. Yeah, oh, Kino man. spoke very highly of it. Oh shit, I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh, no, 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 that that's a uh, that's a huge statement from you. So that means you 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 rapping. And you're producing the whole thing, right? Yeah, I produced the whole thing. That's dope. Dope. The only reason why I think it's gonna make you want to rap, Joe, is just because I could tell you're just looking for a reason to want to rap. That's a fact. You're, you... you're literally like baiting, baiting people in the conversations to bait you into rap. <laughs> to, to people that don't even rap. Word. <laughs> Your words knows me so well, man. Because you know, because you know, you know, I tear niggas up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say about that. I ain't got nothing to say about that. I ain't got about that. <laughs> Yo. You just wait, you just wait no one of y'all to say the wrong shit. So you can go uh, ahead. You hey, can go about 97 bars. Some off ass bars. I'm bored. Saha <laughs> <laughs> no. was close. Saha almost had him. Saha almost had him. I know. I told you, I'm going to warm up before I see him. Yeah, yeah. You need to. Saha, you know, Saha, that's guy level. That's guy level. Yeah. That's guy level. We don't, we don't, you know, we don't, go, we don't go tomato, tomato on that tier. But that's what I was telling Maul and these guys. They never rapped. So when they was in there with all this size shit, it's Fontaine. I'm like, yo, y'all naming niggas that's like yeah. niggas. Yeah. Yeah. Top, top but you was talking yeah. about Saha. That's what we were talking about. Yeah, and Saha told like, you to jump. I only yeah. talk about the niggas that's nice. I'm I ain't, just saying. I ain't, fuck you look like? I'm just saying Saha told you to jump. Like, just and I, I didn't jump. How about that? You know? I ain't jump. Uh-huh. I'm sitting there. Yo, Joe, Joe, Joe would have told Tag the verse. He just would have took mad long to send it back. That's all. It's true. <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. All right, I'm not playing. Somehow this turned into cracking on Joe. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Royce, I love you. Can't wait for you to come up here, man. We miss you. We want to talk to you. Love you, my nigga. I'm going to come see y'all first. All right, bet. All right, bro. All All right, right, Royce. Royce. I love to hear that Royce sounds like he's in an amazing mood. Like yeah. Royce is one yeah. of the greatest mm-hmm. people to speak to when he's in an amazing mood and like one of the worst people to speak to if he's mad at you. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so he sounds great, but he should sound great. Got a great album coming. Yeah. Got a great song out. Yeah. It's popping. Yeah. I'm happy Shout to out Royce. to Royce. Yeah. Yeah, I'll shut him out when he comes sit with us. <laughs> uh, all right, what's going on? What's going on? What is happening? Just that fast. Summer. Oh, we're talking about Summer Walker, the, yeah, the record. Talk about the new record. Uh, the new record, Something Real, Summer Walker, London, uh, London on the track, and Chris Brown. That's how you know Summer and London is together, because London name shouldn't be before Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> and is that him doing the ad-libs? Some of them, yeah. Is that what we get feature credit for nowadays? Yeah. The ad lib. I mean, that kind of makes happens. the song. Well, I mean, well, I These guess days. when you produce it and you you add living on it, I guess you can kind of yeah, you add me to that shit. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, when you put st- my name on that shit. When you stand with Shorty through her terminal defects, like boy, do they love you. <laughs> like, you mean yeah, that's J- Joe? You mean a relationship? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a, hel- a good, yeah, yeah. Like you mean a like good, a really relationship? good relationship? <laughs> you mean except, they're doing well? Accept each other's flaws and everything. <laughs> my- Yo, yo, for more they have never been in a relationship. He is the guru of the I'm shit. T- I'm trying right? to tell you that, yeah. that makes the most sense to me. But okay, Do you, I, I just think this is the hardest way to start a record. Uh, my last nigga was a bitch nigga, especially when you have anxiety. I don't feel like you should be able to even say that. <laughs> yeah, should you Fair. be able to curse out your ex dude and call him names? You can't. She has social anxiety. When you can't even stand. Yeah, you can't stand anyone. You can't even. <laughs> when you can't stand in Times Square by yourself, don't talk about me. Yeah, but that don't mean you're not yeah, a bitch I, nigga. Yeah, I'm going to leave you there. Yes, that's, see, that's, that's what happens. That's why she, probably, why she call him a oh, bitch yeah, nigga. I'm a bitch nigga. We have a company tonight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 30 yeah. people coming over. Yeah. Yeah. We having a kickback. <laughs> uh, we, t- we, t- we taking the train to the club. Yeah, but this is a hard record. It's yeah, hard. It is. It's a really good record. 
Yeah, but are you taking the train to the club like normal people, or are you taking the train to the club like Hov no. took the train to the Yankee game? <laughs> <laughs> I had uh, I had this this funny ass <laughs> idea to, to promo our Palooza shit, which we're not gonna do, which is why I'll say it. Because you know how Hov did that, like we're gonna take the train to the Barclays, and it was like holy shit. Hope's doing that. I was thinking, like, we just do it and no one notices us. <laughs> That's great. That's hard. Yeah, I like it. Why ain't do it? Uh, it's going to take too long. Uh, so- y'all scared. Uh, Rory's scared to ride the train now. Damn. I rode the train here. <laughs> I ride the train that's every, that's every day of my life. He still rides the train. No, every I don't day. do that, Rory. If if what's his name can ride the train, what's my I man? took the same train. Kid, Hope took to Barclays to kid, here. Kid, <laughs> kid Fresh and his friends, <laughs> the dancing guys. The is train we, is safe now. It used to be scary. Kid Fresh made them niggas put a train set on Ellen. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like it too. I like it. I loved it. Uh, all right. So Summer Walker's last dude was a bitch. Now she's with London, and Rory's never been to the London <laughs> for the fourth time. That's what we have there. Have you ever been to London? No, I never have. Wow. Yeah, man. Meet me in the London. <laughs> Maul Googled it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Maul ran right to wherever. It's just Young Thug. Yo, Young Thug. <laughs> yeah, these niggas at the... I Googled. That's what you, look what you think I be doing. Because <laughs> like, <what am> <laughs> yeah, all that picture is you in front of your little entertainment system in the living room just Googling shit. Nah, <laughs> man. Stuffing cones. I, yeah, pretty much. That sounds accurate, actually. Yeah, yeah, bag, I mean? Bagging up. So stuffing some mid. Rory. Le- legal, like that. Bagging oh, your okay, own legal okay. weed up. Okay. Maul does still have baggies. <laughs> just for personal just to make him feel. That's, that's his, that's his drug anxiety. If baggies aren't around, he starts getting uncomfortable. Yo, oh, you got hustler's anxiety. A nigga still uses baggies. Anxiety. That's actually pretty funny. You buy the whole ounce and that's just bag it up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just for you, though? No, he just, he just be bagging up shit in the hey, kitchen. Hey, bagging like. up an ounce of smoke yourself. <laughs> 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 I'm going to bag up this whole ounce of smoke. Yeah. All right, we've done a lot of talking about Lizzo and not enough about Fizzo. <laughs> See what you did there. Hey. You still got it, buddy. You still got it. You can still rhyme. Yo, so, and I don't check for this stuff. You definitely check you, for you this did, Come on. Son. You love nothing else. That's the only check. thing you check for. <laughs> you love this I stuff. I was glued shit. to the yeah. Ray J and Princess Love debacle. Yeah. Yeah. Like, right. The president is about to be shit. impeached. And <laughs> this is what you check for. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. I turned it on. They was talking about ASAP Rocky. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, I hate him too. I'm out of here. Deeper, darker criminal link. And I do not hate ASAP Rocky. Let me not say that. You have no, you have no like, reason to hate ASAP Rocky. But why? He's annoying to me. Why? He don't, even, don't bother he anybody. Not, he don't Word. even be around. That's Word. one dude that don't be around. He's sniping everything, but he don't be around. I know. He fucked a few of my bitches. Oh, oh that's why. That's right. what that it is. Right. That, I'm, glad, nah. I'm glad we settled it. Yeah. We settled it. <laughs> is that, was that it? Rory can't join these conversations no more until he's cheated on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't I don't want him trying to identify with me. He's not in that boat with me. Listen. That doesn't mean you got cheated on. It just means you fuck some of your bitches. Nah, he did. My bitches was for everybody. <laughs> oh yeah. Come on. I've lived that life for a while. <laughs> yeah, but those those be the ones with the fire. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason they're for everybody. You just gotta enjoy your time with them. <laughs> <laughs> Real like <laughs> yeah. And you gotta really mean it when you're like, all right, what you where you going now? Yeah, <laughs> like you got to really try to inquire because they won't share it. No, you, re- you really we'll- have to take in those that one night that you have with them out the month. <laughs> and we're gonna get to all that when we talk about how Trey stole Meg from Maul. <laughs> okay. Damn, I'm here. For- Listen, I- put me on. Listen, Air Fizzo, not to be confused with Air Lizzo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think anyone was confused. I'm not spending too much time here on this because I know that you guys don't give a fuck about Air Fizzo. But he's got some music. <laughs> <laughs> and and I'll, I'll be honest with y'all. One of my new favorite things to do at 40 years old while I'm acting so perturbed and put off by the rap game is to check for the rap songs from the people that I believe just shouldn't rap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I rap- want He rapped? I had no idea Fizzle was <laughs> rapping until I typed in air. Until you oh, typed no, in B2K? Work. Fizz. Look, right there. Oh, it ain't Fizzle? Fizzle. There it is. Oh, let's see. It's mad Fizzles. His name is Fizz. Oh, his new shit ain't even up. I got to click the link in the bio. Here we go. I got to click the link in the bio. Somebody say something. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is your segment and your segment only. I, I know. So to, while I prepare this for the, it, oh, okay. here we go. Here we go. Link in bio, bitches. 
Nah, don't hate Parks. Don't hate. Don't turn it. I'll turn it down. Don't you hate? <laughs> uh oh. This is why all this shenanigans have been happening. Great video. Uh, Air Fizzo. He's doing the little rapper. This one's called Mirror. Rapperus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hate rapperus. Me too. Rapperus are horrible. Yeah. No, you can turn that up, bro. You hate now. No, it's up. <laughs> <laughs> you, you mix it. Hey, master this shit. <laughs> uh, shake that ass in the mirror. Shake that ass in the mirror. I'm, I'm with him so uh, far. He talking to Chris Dose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> it doesn't sound plugged in. You got a wonderful. Wait, he just. You said, got a wonderful why you ain't figure. got no nigga, nigga? She had a whole baby daddy. <laughs> she had a whole nigga. They was on TV. They were happy. <laughs> they you was, was on the same show. Yeah, you was on tour with this nigga. Uh, Any, <clears throat> anyway, I just wanted to play that for the audience because Air Fizzo is telling women to shake their ass in the mirror. I'm I'm rolling. I like it. I like what he's trying to bring to the culture. Because <laughs> women have never done this before. No. Never. No. Not enough. Yes. Not enough. It kind of. There's a lot of mirrors out there. There's a lot of mirrors. There's not enough asses. I yeah. can't believe this podcast. It's not enough asses in the mirrors. <laughs> Joe, what shake you? that ass in a mirror. <laughs> you know, listen. Rolling, one thing so I'm never like gonna be bad at. He, he, he grew shaking up shaking his ass in the mirror. What <laughs> 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 the fuck are y'all talking about? <laughs> hey, a nigga shaking his ass is funny, but if a nigga's in the mirror, <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, know, some of these type of nasty shit you are. Some of these LA LA dudes, and I'm not not LA dudes, fit. Fizz, fizz. I mean, that's, yeah. <laughs> the fizz dudes in LA. But let me not say that. A few weeks ago, Van Lathan hit me and he said, "Yo, yo, you got an issue with Sarunis Jackson?" Huh? And I was like, "Who the fuck is <laughs> who the fuck is Sarunis Jackson?" Right. And then he said, "Well, then I was trying to go Google it because I thought I might have been dissing like Michael Jackson's son yeah. or some shit." But you spelled it wrong. That. Uh, no, he hit me back before I could finish the Google with a picture of a dude, uh, and the dude was Sarunas Jackson. Apparently, he's well, the, he's hold the on, dude what, from, what what picture did Van select? Uh, Mirror pic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> I don't remember. I have to, I look at, I look for it. But uh, Sarunas Jackson is the actor from Insecure. I found out. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. I know. Oh, cool. You know Sarunas? Mm. Eskimo Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I know for a fact. Oh, word. Mm. Y'all discussed it? That's corny. No, she did. I thought it was weird. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I hate when they do that. Um, yeah, Sarunas Jackson thinks that Joe Budden has an issue with him for something I probably said that I don't remember. I don't remember you saying so that. So I want Sarunas Jackson. I'm not probably. You never say nothing about anybody, Joe. What are they talking about? Yeah. <laughs> That's so out of your character. Yeah. Right. That's not like you. I want Sarunas to know that I fuck with him, man. I fuck with Sarunas. I don't like the name Sarunas. No, he's, he's cool. What does that have to do with his name being Sarunas? I was a uh, the prior point. Oh yeah, that you don't no no I fuck with him. I fuck with him. I fuck with him. That's it. The cool Eskimo brother. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> we above that. Right, right, right. <laughs> so speaking of Eskimo brothers, let's talk about Trey Songs. <laughs> Damn, Ma. It's not my Eskimo brother. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. How? I'm sure it <laughs> is. Trey is everyone's Eskimo yeah. brother. <laughs> I see what you did there, Rose. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yes, cash mall. Uh, uh. Trying to get my cash. <laughs> Trying to bring my cash to the mall. <laughs> y'all tell me what y'all think of this. There's a lot to unpack here. Uh, no, it's not. It's yes, not. Yes, it is. It's not a lot. Sometimes you be overthinking shit that just be it. <laughs> it's, it's nothing to unpack here. Like sometimes no? it's not a conspiracy. No. Sometimes right, chicks so just be drunk in the me. club and want to touch Trey Songz. What is it to unpack? It's Trey Songz with a girl. <laughs> <laughs> what is it to unpack? <laughs> well, I appreciate his cooth in this video of being like, "Hey, you're drunk. Hey, where's money bag, yo? Hey, yo, no, you can't do this. I don't think they're together. Where's anymore. money bag? I don't think they're together anymore." <laughs> Cause she she posted something a couple weeks ago. I meant to ask y'all about. She said uh, she posted. I think the caption was "Never met a nigga, still ha- never met a nigga that can handle me" or something like that. And I was like, "Damn, if you got a boyfriend, that's the type of shit you would post." So I'm, I, that's, I don't that's think usually a go to whenever there's a, a fight in the household. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a there's a there's a, there's a, there's a fight now. I hate that line when chicks say, uh, "Trying to find someone that can handle me." No, maybe just no one wants to. <laughs> like, there's a difference. Oh, now you pardon. 
between <laughs> <laughs> next level shit right yeah, now. Yeah, now he pop. There's, there's a difference between wanting to handle you and just I just don't want to. Yo, get out your burger. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and your big bag, Rory. <laughs> big to me. <laughs> big to me. <laughs> <laughs> Rory and Maul, this is what I mean by there's a lot to unpack. Okay. We spent all summer, us and the big Fortune 500 companies, spent all summer trying to figure out who won Hot Girl Summer, the mm-hmm. hot girls or the hot boys, right? Mm-hmm. That summer ended and that question still was not answered. Mm-hmm. So here we are, about to be December, and we have basically uncovered that Hot Girl Meg allegedly had a boyfriend that wasn't a boyfriend, Mm-hmm. And then bagged the dude who in the summer said, I'll knock your head off. Mm-hmm. Some women would claim that as a victory for the hot girls now, but when I look at Trigger, I mean, well, you, you know, hot girl when, summer turned into lonely girl uh, winter real quick. Yeah, she tried to turn it into college girl fall or some black shit. It didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. And yeah. stick. She took two pictures in class and was right back twerking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that, was her, that was her hotel room. Yeah. Yeah, that was an online class. <laughs> online, yes. Oh. <laughs> that was an online class that her assistant Yo, was taking. But it was working. She was giving you pics in the hotel at midnight, saying, "Oh, cramming." Yeah, mm-hmm. all she did was I put know. glasses on. Cramming, I know. Yeah, that's all these ball, chicks do. Ball, ball, ball. <laughs> I know cramming. Ball. I know. Trey, Trey was cramming. I too. went to Cram University. Cram so University. <laughs> Graduated with honors. <laughs> No, we heard about the eight. <laughs> major, yeah, major, 8. An, major animal. Yeah, man. Come on, man. Oh, no, we heard about your GPA. <laughs> or, or or does Trey win this for the city boys or the hot boys or whatever the boys? I'm 40. I don't know what the fuck boys are. Uh, does Trey win this for calling a shot nine months in advance, popping up everywhere where you and your friends are, and then closing the deal in well, the winter? That's what I wanted to get into. Just that move of just being around for a while. Right. Wait it out. Now, before you get into it, because I want you to get into it. The, my favorite part of this video. This is a great video. This Meg, Trey, and the club shit. Kevin Lowes is the best nigga in the world, man. Uh, he had both of them as a client. And please, <laughs> hey, hey, audience, listen. If y'all never listen to nothing else I say Kevin about... like he hated. <laughs> <laughs> I know what a nigga hated. No, no, no. <laughs> That's the hater face, man. No, look no, look at no. I, he... he if you no, never believe anything else I've ever said, first of all, Rory's right. He even looks terrified. <laughs> These are both of his artists. This is my well, not old... Well, anymore. Trey's not anymore. Trey used to be. He used to manage Trey. He does not anymore? Uh, from my understanding, I don't no. know if that's true, but we won't speak on it. Okay. Uh, we'll say he used to manage Trey. We don't know if that's still standing. But if I'm judging by this clip, this is the old artist I managed and the new hot artist... That I'm managing. That I'm going every fucking place with. <laughs> and she's drunk in the club, and she's on you, and you about to fuck my money up. Also, hold on. We Get off know, her. We have to know. <laughs> fuck something else up. At, he, an, at an empty club. Well, yeah, no, he knows. No, this club's not empty. It's a big one. Yeah. That's, considering the fact that you can see Trey and Meg this wide open in that type of club. But that's he, an empty club. But they're filming, yeah, no, no, but they're they're stand, no, they're they're, filming from the DJ booth. Yeah, they're standing. You know, they're filming from fam, the DJ booth. You've been in DJ booths. There's 55 people in the booth. No, I, they, they're standing it's like a stage I just saying. like Kev leaning over and saying yo they're recording you stop it <laughs> and then you see Trey look at the dude recording and stop it mm. like what a wingman Kev is the best look look stop he's got the Indiana off. Jones hat on too look he's he trying to cough he's in a cough. <laughs> yo Kevin is the best <clears throat> yo nigga what the fuck you doing <laughs> <laughs> Kev said, uh-huh. <laughs> "Bitch ass nigga, they tape right behind you, nigga. I don't want you been in the game." Yeah, but that don't. I mean, I don't look think, at Meg. I don't think that's what, what was. Uh, listen, man. No, that's what was said. They in the, the no, that's middle. What was said. That's in a the, thousand percent. That's what exactly was said. what was said. They're standing yeah. on a stage, like in in a club, oh, and she's putting on a show. DJ booth. And she's worth. Mo, did you? And she's did worth. Did you hear the words that, that she was not singing? The only phone in the in the room. She's probably worth nine figures to Kevin. Actually, that's not the only phone in the room. Trust me, people have a different angles of what was going on. You can't hide that. Once they once they doing that, it's like All you right. shouldn't be doing it, club. Well, well, yeah, he should have stopped it way before then if he was trying to stop something. All right, so Rory, get to your point. What do you think about the uh, these moves? The move of wait, the, waiting for it. You just you just kind of linger around. You just yeah. be the older yeah. friend. Yeah. Like, yeah. 
Yeah. And in and in Trey's case, I see what he did there of just being the older artist. Let me right, just guide yeah. the Tinkering new artist. The wing. Yeah, yeah. I know Kev. Kev is now working right. your whole shit. Let me just be around. Like, let me guide you. Right. Just wait for the relationship to sour. Which is funny because <laughs> that totally goes against everything that he said here. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, it's fine. We don't we don't have to hold people to their lyrics. <laughs> but I mean, he waited patiently. He was patiently waiting for a track to explode on. <laughs> I haven't heard that lyric in so long. <laughs> a track to explode on. <laughs> what is fifty talk? Right, I'm not saying that. I'm scared of fifty. All right. <laughs> what else? What else we got going on here? We don't we don't want to talk about Trey and Meg. And Kev. <laughs> I, I no, would, we need to be... Can I call Kev? Does it? <laughs> Kev is going to bang on you. Kev, no, Kev wouldn't answer. He I'm going to... Have we been paying attention to Moneybag Yo's uh, Instagram or Twitter? I think I think no. that's where our answer is. That's where the fun is? Yeah. We we, we, <laughs> we, we, we we missing a major component in this story right now. Let's see what's going on over there with Yo. Yeah, we got to see, see what he does. <laughs> Yeah, let's, see. let's see if he still follows. Dig it up on these niggas, Maul. Okay, he's still following Meg. Let's see if he follows Trey. I doubt uh, it. He did this that's why, that's why you got to watch out for the big bro. Because that's what Trey was for the six big months. Bro. That was the yeah, big no, bro. He don't, he don't follow Trey songs. Trey going to big bro his way into eating your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm your bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I got it. I, I missed what you were saying. I missed how you was putting that together. I was kind of like, you said... Yeah, eating your ass. I didn't. Yes, man. Okay, got it. No, I'm here. I'm, I'm you. with you. Come on, you ain't finding this nigga tweet yet. Yeah, All right, no, fine. He, you do that. He ain't, well, he ain't doing you do shit. that. Me and Rory will fucking yeah. take this thing to the next level, man. You got some? <sighs> you want to run through just quick I new could. music, real quick? Just get out of the music. Yes, oh, yeah, yes, 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 please, Let's please, just run please, through please. the new shit. Please, action, Bronson and Al. I actually really like. Yo, him. stop, stop it. I knew you was gonna come on this shit. Stop it. This shit is good. No, I'm. I didn't hear it. You heard Chance yet? No. <laughs> no, I'm telling Parks to stop it because don't tell me and Al so I could get that's on what, it now. That's what well, it's, it's Action Bronson and Alchemist. Oh, shit. It's, yeah. yeah. Alchemist oh. did the whole thing. I'll take it back. I'm sorry. Yeah. And it's billed as such. And it's and it's really good. I want yeah, them to good. stop hanging out. Why? <laughs> Wait, they, they do a show together? They do like, everything right. together. They do, they do great music they together? They do everything that they do. <laughs> that's, that's like saying I wish all of us would stop hanging out and there'd be no podcast right that is not that is that is a false parallel that is not the same it's a similar parallel how parallel. You, they do fuck that's delicious which is a really popular show together they, they do make, the alien shit right they've done like seven fucking albums together right <laughs> like what are you saying whatever and this is good this shit is really good I enjoyed it Maul did you hear this album I, I know you have PTSD from Rosenberg but Lamb over Rice <laughs> no I didn't hear it yet I felt a little slighted because I've had uh, chicken over rice in my Twitter bio for like 12 years. But it's mm. cool. I see what y'all did. Mm. Fine by me. But they, they remixed it though. They it's did. Lamb. Lamb. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'll check this out. I'm going to check it out. I'm no, talking, no, I'm talking shit like right it. now. Yeah, you like I, it. I am going to listen to yeah. it. Um, I know the rap shit that you like and you would like this. Yeah. Okay, good. So I'm going to check it out. Yeah, it's good. Oh, uh, money up? bag with the classic line, never trade respect for attention. Mm. Mm. Fuck with money bag. Yeah, trades, trades. And then he it. followed that up with, "I'm currently in the airport with 250k on me." <laughs> Saying he right back. That, no, no. Yeah, no, he right back. <laughs> no, he's that, not. That just sounds like a that, long that process in TSA. That actually doesn't even that sound great. Yeah, that don't get it done. He said, "You remind me of my stepper because I know you gonna slide." <laughs> Getting this shit off. Shouts to money bag, yo. You remind me of my stepper. <laughs> I got a better response. <laughs> Which one of y'all? <laughs> Rory, pause this for a minute. Rory, pause this for two seconds. Maul. Yes. You could be in the airport with <laughs> 950K in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. The nigga that can walk in a room, and in a room full of girls, and say, <laughs> which one of y'all? <laughs> which one? Wh which one? Wh which one of y'all? Stutter through it. <laughs> which one of y'all's going home and sing his name? Mm -hmm. It's going home with Trigger. Mm -hmm. It's it! He's harmonizing this. <laughs> oh. 
Wait, turn that down. Meg was looking at him naughty. Hey, <laughs> naughty. <laughs> That's such naughty. a horrible word. <laughs> he said it. <laughs> thug niggas. He a VIP with thug niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Lyle standing there. <laughs> <laughs> it was Kev standing there. Hey. Yo, Trey got joints, man. I fuck with Trey. Oh, yeah, no. Trey got a lot of records I like a lot. <laughs> I mean, he got a lot of hey, joints. Hey, I, like, I told you guys of, he could give us 20 hey. minutes. <laughs> hey, hey. He got a lot of joints hey. I like. Hey. What Meg more, did when this more, came more, on? My, more. My, my, bad. my bad. What Meg did when this came on? She drove the boat? <laughs> Trey said, ah. (laughs) (laughs) All right. (laughs) (laughs) Why did I get told to do this? (laughs) Um, Yeah, we did. You can turn all that shit off. Yeah. Um, Damn, I was about to say something just now. Oh, this is my thing about women. And then we getting off of this because it's gossipy and I don't really care, but it was funny, so I brought it up. But Meg, Meg took the Twitter to say, I ain't beat. Oh, that's not what she said. She said, I ain't hit. She said, I have, I have, y- y'all only know one relationship or something. I only date oh, no, one that person. Was the, that, was, that was the, that was the, that was lawyer jargon. <laughs> <laughs> y'all only know one relationship I was in in the summertime with a known person from Memphis. <laughs> like that was one of them ESPN LeBron stats. She said, I ain't oh, yeah. hit. <laughs> it was good though. My, my point is when women say that they didn't hit, oh, God. why do they think that we believe that that means that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Isn't it universally accepted that when women or men say that it's a lie? Yeah. She well, she said she didn't hit. She didn't say he didn't hit. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I'm not running with that, man. Kevin Lyles wouldn't let that happen. <laughs> Here's the hotel Kev, room. Kev shared the hotel room. <laughs> oh man! It's me. No, uh, uh-uh. I know. Nope. Sleeping between the two. Put of it you. away. <laughs> Put it away. <laughs> it's crazy. Kev, Kev, Kev <laughs> owed me for never writing my tell-all book, man. I was gonna let all of Def Jam secrets out. <laughs> well, you, you have a podcast. You now. execs were freaky. <laughs> nah, the freakiest. You yeah, think listen, rappers are bad? Def, Def Jam played the played the blueprint. <laughs> Actually, man. Tell my shit up. Speaking I of that, I saw a report it. that uh, Noah's Are got laid off from uh, Death Jam. Are Noah what? Got laid off from Death Jam. Oh. Can, can you lay off that? I don't know. That that high of an exact? I mean, Wait, you that's serious? how... Yeah. Send that to my phone. I will. <laughs> you so pissed. No, Noah got laid off from Def Jam? That's how the article worded it. What could have went wrong? That was Paul's <laughs> right hand and Ace Boone Coon. He was going to bring all of the digital content from Complex and merge with Def Jam so they could be a force to be reckoned with for years to come. <laughs> and Def Jam even put out a, a single hot a 30 ones. 30-second There was no hot clip. ones. Word on nobody. <laughs> Everybody from Def Jam said, nah, I got my own content deal, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm right <laughs> up Shooting this Davies movie. <laughs> I'm doing mad shit. You heard of Wu-Tang? <laughs> I, think, I think I'm going to go fuck with them. Yo, this Melly versus Melvin shit. Y-N-W Melly. This is hip hop younger than me. I'm an old wash, disconnected dude, but dude is hard. Very talented. Like that's, he that's, he can go. That's Un- the dude. I gotta that, listen. Uh, I haven't listened yet. That's the Killed dude. His friend that's or the dude. That, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Parks. Allegedly, allegedly. Uh, yeah, that's the dude that allegedly uh killed two of his homies that he had a problem with. Put him in the uh trunk of his car, drove somewhere, and then uh, went to the studio, and made a song about it. <laughs> And that song is stupid hard. That song was hard. And it's stupid. It's much harder when you realize that it allegedly <laughs> that it it's happened. true. <laughs> yeah, where's my phone at, man? I'm going to have to play a little bit of that thing. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> what, to play a song? Never mind. All right, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, his album is out. I don't know how this goes, but I I enjoyed it. I don't know where the proceeds go. I don't know who's reaching what. To? Scroll down. It should be right there. Yo, more, never mind who Mel is signed to. What difference does it make, nigga? Listen to the tape. <laughs> See? Okay. That's why Sa go. <laughs> yeah, that, no. <laughs> that, that I, I, I have no idea why Royce has hope in you. Because uh, right Royce know the vibes. <laughs> uh, what other new music came oh, out? 300. Call Kev. Mm. There you go. Good old Kev. <laughs> uh, what else came out besides Action Bronson and Alchemist and Sur- y- Surf and Mozzie put out a tape. Surf and Mozzie. Okay. Yep. Anything else new? 
Um, yeah, that surf and mozzie tape was all right. Some some mid from party. <laughs> we talked about that already, Joe. <laughs> I know. Just throwing out there that it's mid. Uh, I'm <laughs> sure some more came out that they'll fill our mentions with. Like, how the fuck did you need to talk about my mans that just put something out? Tech Nine put out an EP. I haven't heard it yet, but it's out there. Okay. I'll go Tech. Yeah. That's dope. All right, that's cool, man. I don't think it's too much more music out, and if it is, uh, I ain't heard it. Spotify is doing their own award show based hey! on uh, okay. based on uh, streaming data. Okay. So I think you could probably tell like the winners. <laughs> Just already. go and look at the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, why, why would no, I watch that? <laughs> interested to see what they do with it. Yeah, that's cool. cool. Will it be held somewhere, or will it be like a digital thing? Are we getting an award? Probably not. Damn. Where? Where's the love? Uh, don't get me on my tangent about how some of these award shows. You said Mexico City? Some of these award shows oh, okay. do need to have a podcast award. Yeah. But well, no, no, they had it. They had the they had the iHeart Roy, Roy, podcast Roy. awards and the Breakfast Club won for podcast of the year. What are you talking about? Roy. They had them. <laughs> yeah, you're just like acknowledging <laughs> yeah. the winners. That's all. Fan, yeah, all right. Grow my up. My white co host is <laughs> <laughs> the iHeart Awards. They had the iHeart podcast. Awards. Shout out to iHeart, man. I got some tea to spill on you, some beer to brew on y'all, but I won't. Okay. On well, iHeart? Closer to the end of my Spotify contract, I'm just coming in here and brewing the beer on everybody. <laughs> no. Joe, hey, Joe, hey, I, Joe hey. I have bills to pay. I have, a high, I have a high overhead. Hey, all, <laughs> audience, all that. Let me take this shit to the next level. Should I be talking about? Give it to June. <laughs> uh, let me see what else is important let me look at my list really oh let's talk about the rapper booking prices and the new Tesla truck that Maul wants to get <laughs> I can see Maul that truck no you can't yeah, Maul is definitely nah, whipping that shit down St. Nick well actually that's it's a, it's right a U truck because it's rock proof <laughs> why would I need a truck to be rock proof that's true you're the one, the one that throws yeah. the rocks well what if you're rocks. in there throwing them and you know what I mean you don't want to get them out back. Yeah. oh then I gotta get low well, no. Actually, if you saw the video, you can throw the rocks from the driver's side <laughs> through the window. <laughs> yeah, pretty easily. You don't even put the window down to throw your rocks. What, what do y'all What do y'all think about the truck? Honestly, that shit's ugly. It's horrible. This is not a good good looking car. Nah, that shit hard. Ugly but necessary. <laughs> no, necessary. Yeah. How? What do you mean that? That's... It's, it's confusing to me, right? That that America tells what? us how much debt we're in, but then just continues to go about business as usual. Like, sell shit, sell shit for high prices. <laughs> Fam, this is the funniest shit in the world. I'm, I know he was about to say something really important. Uh, not really. <laughs> but the important. fact that he said, yo, you could shoot a nine millimeter pistol at this and nothing will happen, and then handed this to this feminine man to throw a rock at, and it shattered. <laughs> and like, then, oh, he said, then he said, no, you threw it too hard and did the next window, and it broke again. <laughs> Yeah, Steve Jobs would never work. <laughs> well, I read a report uh, from Forbes that said immediately after this uh, exhibition took place, uh, Tesla, not Tesla, Elon Musk, uh, his uh, stock, his net worth, his his net worth, yeah, uh, his net worth went down uh, seven hundred and twenty five million. Oh, you know, uh, you by the way, this 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 was planned. I want to be the conspiracy guy here. Elon Musk is not taking a risk for some guy to throw this at this window after he's saying it's indestructible. This was all planned. This was supposed to break. Damn. Yeah, but I also... You trying to go viral? This car is going to fly in six months when it comes back. <laughs> this was just a setup for the next joint. That car is ugly as fuck. No, I'm, yeah, wh- I'm that, whipping that on That's why I think it's necessary. <laughs> like, if this big-ass uh, piece of metal bullshit lunchbox <laughs> is 30 grand... Like, yeah, let the people in the economy with 30 grand go out there and get this big piece of shit. Like the people that need cars. Meanwhile, you're getting the Maybach truck. That's a terrible looking car. I don't know that I'm getting the Maybach truck. I just saw the picture and thought it was nice. The interior. Just threw it, on, threw it on your story? Yeah, I'm one of those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Set, setting up for your car test. And, <laughs> yeah, I mean, trying to raise the engagement. <laughs> that, that's what brought the traffic. Trying to raise the engagement on the dashboard. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> on the dashboard. <laughs> Uh, I wish they would show us the inside of this bullshit. There is no inside. This was all a fucking setup. There's no inside to that car. There was actually people inside the car when he did that. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just on, talking shit. He I drove it out no on stage. It just, it just stayed there. Yo, you know why I fuck with this uh, Tesla Musk, uh, Elon Musk dude? <laughs> Tesla Musk. <laughs> That's what it smells like. It smells like t- Tesla. Tesla Musk. 
Let, and let me tell you, in, in that movie I love, what's that movie I love? The, Pre- the Prestige. Oh, yeah. When, uh, when, Tesla, when Tesla started cloning shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. But uh, back to what I was saying. Uh, damn, what the fuck? All he cloned was cats. <laughs> that car looks like, remember when Kobe or put out his he? first sneaker? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Marks. <laughs> what I Remember when Kobe put out his first sneaker? <laughs> it looked like it that. It looked just like that car. It looks like the uh, Pontiac Aztec, which is the ugliest car that's of a, all time. That's a bad looking car. <laughs> that's just terrible. I know. I'm sitting there shitting on it, saying it's a lunchbox, but my mom never let me get none of the saucy lunchboxes either. <laughs> like, <laughs> the I, lunchbox you wanted? Spider Man? Uh, Transformers. Yeah. Like some we, uh, G.I. Um, Joe. Hell. We, we brown paper bagged it in my house. Same. Mm. I had a I had a GI Joe. Oh, yo, you, you, you come from having a family. They made the food, put in a brown bag for you. <laughs> no, we're sandwich all bro. flat. <laughs> 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 the bag didn't work good. No, never. It never did. <laughs> Greasy ass bag. <laughs> <laughs> this shit look hard, more. You wouldn't drive a Tesla truck. No, that's that's just not a good looking. car. You wouldn't do anything, and, right? And the with, with Earthlings. No, the Tesla. <laughs> some of the Tesla cars is dope, but that's that's not this, this is that's just bad. You gonna get one? To t- take things to the next level on these things. I wouldn't mind getting a Tesla. I wouldn't mind getting a Tesla. Not that though. That shit big as hell. Uh, fuck y'all. I'm it's bigger that than shit. the pickup truck. Yeah, they said that this thing can, and that's why I love when they put out new shit with facts. They said this thing can tow up to seventeen thousand pounds. And I said, why the fuck would I want to tow anything that's seventeen? I'm not towing anything. Period. Word. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that. Sorry, uh, Elon Musk. And I like looking at this video because I like when people that are damn near trillionaires like get jiggy. Like, look at Elon. <laughs> look at Elon Musk outfit. He planned for that. He one. has no velour on. No, he he wears that jacket all the time. That's his swag. That's the park swag. Yeah, yeah. When you <laughs> got that black. type of money, you wear the same shit every day. Yeah, no, it's true. It's true. And uh, lastly, all this pickup, bulletproof, rockproof truck shit is cool. Where's the underground train that, or the underground right. tunnel for the cars? The plane that goes to London in thirty uh, minutes. Where's all the other shit you think, were talking about? I think Julia Roberts is running that. <laughs> All right, now. You mean Harriet? Boy, that boy Podden. No, he Podden now, <laughs> Now he Podden. He, he Podden. He, now he Podden. He's Steve Nash out there. Run, yeah. run a break. Yeah, he, <laughs> he going for 30 tonight. No, I don't know if Rory can lead this one. <laughs> no, no. I was, I was hoping one of you would take it over. <laughs> no, get to your point. What happened? I'll do it up. What I'll you do it up. I don't know. That is Rory right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now listen. We, we heard a report that I thought was just I thought it was bullshit at first, but then I started hearing it on all the news channels, which should have told me it was bullshit. Uh, they said that Julia Roberts was supposed to be cast or was uh, it was uh, somebody's idea for her to be cast as Harriet Tubman. And, now, this uh, was now this an was anonymous an, exec. This was an earlier executive from a few years ago before this actually went into production. Right. And apparently this person said this in a room full of people. I've heard this on the news. This person said this in a room full of people. And when the room full of people said to him that Harriet Tubman is indeed a black woman. <laughs> Just the, that little tidbit. The executive, <laughs> Small tidbit. the executive suggested that this was so long ago that the people would not know. Mm. Oh, come mm. on. And when I heard that, I was taken aback and I said, come on, executive, you can't do that. Of course you have to know that we would know that. That. It also wasn't that long ago, honestly. It really was not. <laughs> no. It really was not. But. What's the Louis C.K. joke? Every year, white people add another 400 years to when slavery was. Yeah. It was 800 years ago. <laughs> was Fam, six, it wasn't. 60s. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah. 2000. Yeah. <laughs> Word. <laughs> um, listen, I'm going to say this. In fear of my black card being revoked, <laughs> y'all can't take me and Stephen A. shit. <laughs> but, and that's this might be my warped sense of humor. I would personally love to see Julia Roberts play Harriet Tubman. <laughs> I think what's wrong with you? <laughs> I think that would be one of the best movies ever. Now I haven't seen the actual movie and. For uh, for new listeners and people that snatch our uh, hip hop hot news, whatever that is, <laughs> that keeps taking they, everything. I they say. just remix this. It's hot news, hip hip hop yeah, news that's yeah. hot. They just remix it with yeah. thirty different uh, I'm, platforms. I'm being silly, of course, but Julia Roberts playing Harriet Tubman, like in a real movie, I picture it like Dave Chappelle as the Klansman. <laughs> yeah. Like it would be next level funny, like that to me. 
<laughs> yeah. I think they were trying to make a serious movie about Harriet Tubman. And I hear that the movie is a good movie. I'm uh, sure it is. I haven't seen it, but Julia Roberts playing <laughs> Harriet Tubman? <laughs> no. It's just not right. Yo, you say that. I like this little new meme internet game that's going around. Uh, that's going around. I'm the really cat? No, Don't no. bring up the cat. No, no, not the cat. Uh, the one, the one no, is. Uh, I'm gonna tell people. I'm gonna, t- I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell my kids uh, <laughs> that this oh, is yeah. this is Joe Budden. No, this is Kodak. Or this right. is whoever. Uh, yeah, I like that shit a lot. I've, if if white people just say fuck that man, white excellence, and just start playing all the black <laughs> shit, white excellence. <laughs> fuck that white excellence. <laughs> I would they have been doing that for like yeah, how about say, years. I, yeah. Like that's 800 not they years. Been They've been doing that. Yeah. A little bit more. Y'all are right. Y'all are right. All right, fine. No Julie Roberts as Harriet. Yeah, All I, right. think you, I think you should let that dream go, Joe. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's fine. People are stupid. <laughs> I'm going to tell my kids this was Amelia Earhart. Look <laughs> who that is. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yo, the internet is fucking Nah, crazy, they showed man. a picture of a young thug in the in the wheelchair and said, I'm going to tell my kids this is a Stephen Hawkins. <laughs> it's not People funny. just don't know when to just stop. <laughs> stop. That is funny. I'm going to tell my kid, look, this is great. Anyway, all right, enough about this kid shit. What else is important? What else is important? Let's Ray, see. Ray J left his kid in Vegas. And his wife. <laughs> what? We're not talking about this right now. <laughs> there has to be something more important to talk about. There has to be. My list is done. Uh, all right, so I'm right back with Drea Plus. <laughs> <laughs> listen, we had Should this, not be forgotten. Listen, you signed we, up? Uh, uh, <laughs> no, no, not yet, but it's coming, man. We had this great idea last podcast, and much to my surprise, unbeknownst to me, a lot of y'all supported it, man. So while I don't see a real Drea Plus, just sit tight. I'm working on Netflix. <laughs> you say Netflix? Yeah, working on Netflix, man. <laughs> <laughs> Got to do it. Your favorite IG bitches on Netflix. <laughs> but on Netflix. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, not, Netflix. Netflix. <laughs> Okay. Maybe we should delete this because this is a fucking That's genius a really idea. idea. <laughs> what? Netflix? Netflix. Netflix. <laughs> this is a genius yeah. idea. <laughs> Nigga, I'm getting a nut on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I hope I could curate it. <laughs> All right. Let's move on then. All right. Let's move on. All right. Rory's list is done. Let me go to my list. Oh, Lux and Verb. Lux and oh, Verb. Yeah, now yeah. that Lux and Verb, uh, that battle was actually out on YouTube, not just the app. Uh, what did y'all think? Did you see it? Yeah, I watched it. Um... I got Lux winning two one. Which two? Uh, sh- maybe the second and and the first. The first, yep. yeah, and the first. Maybe the second and the first. Second and first, just like I said months ago. <laughs> yeah. Rory, did you see first. it? I did. Yeah, I did. What'd you think? I'm I'm rolling with you guys on that one. I think that was kind of obvious. Uh, first and second mm-hmm. for Lux, and we're not just saying that because Lux did this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> And, verb and verb is going to tell me I need to be a vegan. And Verb so hates just, uh, hates Mall too. I forgot about that. Yeah, but, but Verb did great. He did. Verb did great. Great he battle. Did. Great battle. A lot of views in forty eight hours. Mm. Uh, super happy for both of these gentlemen. But and they both put on a show. But uh, mm. Lux is different. I'm not going to sit here and dicky no more. Lux Lux is different. If I remembered all of that shit that he was saying, woo, <laughs> he was saying some things. Yeah, I got to watch this. I ain't watch it yet. Oh, you should. A great battle. Yeah, yeah. This was yeah. actually one of the better ones that I've seen in a, in a while. It looks like well produced too. Like it looks good. Yeah, every like in, in its entirety. Yeah. The 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 sound, the video quality, like it you know, they, and they both up. did a, a good job with their performance. Yeah. Did y'all hear that ASAP Rocky in an attempt to give back uh <laughs> is designing the prison suits for Sweden uh prisoners in Sweden where he was locked up at? Huh? <laughs> I mean he was in there, shit wasn't swaggy. Uh they had no drip in there. Well, so that's why, shit like that is why I hate that kid. So that's why he's that's how he's giving back, and not hate. I'm being facetious, but yeah, ASAP Rocky is giving back by designing the uniforms for the inmates in the Swedish prison that he was arrested. I mean, that he was locked up in. After you slip on some cum, the next thing is fashion. <laughs> and you got to make the slip proof <laughs> slip proof sneakers. Yeah, <laughs> just trying to look out, looking out for the inmates, bro. Cum so would so you tell him? <laughs> cum proof oh, sneakers. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Come on. Yo, like, those are new cum proofs right there? 
Yeah, nah, they don't slide at all. What's that? The Come Proof 3s right there? Oh, I've seen them on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> first Yo, commercial. Cross brand nah, 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 yeah, you need Yo, those on Mark, that. Bro, we're going to be the first one with the Come Proof 3s, though. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> with the clear bubble in the soul. <laughs> we're going to jazz his up. <laughs> Man, my shit's going to be off white with the, with the label. <laughs> You gonna get Virgil to write come on your on your, on your snow. Yo, first of all, first of all, y'all not about to give me my credit on off white on the cum shits. No, 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 no. Nah, I need my I need no, my credit on no, off white on the. Cum. I see what you did there. I see what you did. Tell there. Virgil right come on my cums. <laughs> Tell Virgil right come on my cums. <laughs> That's some sick ass sneakers right there, man. Jesus Christ. Worried like my outfit for real? <laughs> no, I, just, I'm, I can't. I did the baggy shit and then I tapered my shit. I'm not going back. <laughs> my pants are gonna stay tapered. I can't do the baggy shit. It's a nice uh, sweatsuit, but I would have tapered it. I'm weird. I'm kind of weird, Rory. A little What's bit. What's the BB like, stand for, bad bitch? Not a vibe part. Giving bad bitch vibes. <laughs> you know so all vibe. he's serving. Yo, but so too many years I wore I wore baggy shit. So for me to finally get off of it and and, the, and looked ridiculous like publicly. Yeah. So why so why the fashion brands I'm trying to myself, make it come no, back? You, no, I agree with you. I'm saying, but why are they trying to make it come Cause, back? Because everything comes back. But I'm just not. I'm staying with my tapered pants. I like my shit to fit. I'm sorry. Some of that shit is on here. No, no, no. They look great. I see people killing the baggy wave. I'll do the baggy tops just because I'm fat now, <laughs> but the pants I'm 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 staying tapered, man. Yeah, I'm fat now too. They got to come out with with something that's like tapered in the shoulders and a little, a little, a little, a little, a little bigger. Just, just to show just my, to, my yeah. good accents, yeah, yeah, not the yeah. stomach. Yo, dude, when you get to this midsection, all right, man. <laughs> when you call it a midsection, <laughs> right? Like, like I've never had a midsection. It's, it's yeah, it's a midsection, crazy fucking. And the party gave us the midsection. <laughs> <laughs> <Damn. laughs> Alright listen uh, We meant to talk about this For two podcasts in a row But the Kings man You know how it is man Too much to talk about sometimes Right <laughs> uh, But uh, Some some agency leaked Artists booking prices That was rude of them And I think it's the most interesting thing Out there Let's discuss so, yes. Some of this well, is, is, is very very true But some of this is Is False as fuck. The funny and shit some of you looking. agencies have some real high hopes for some of your artists. Well, I was about to say, let me preface all of this with uh, be advised that your booking price is a price that you set. You, the artist, you can set it. You can ask for anything that you want to ask for. I was just going <laughs> to say, look at two chains price. <laughs> two chains, generally available. Call for pricing. Yeah. <laughs> yo, yeah. Just, yo, just hit me. Yeah. Right. That, that sounds wise. Yeah, we'll talk. Yeah, I, yeah. I have some questions. How mm-hmm. big is the venue? Who's mm-hmm. throwing this thing? What's the budget? Right. You know what I mean? It's gonna well, fluctuate. First, first thing is always who's throwing it. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh, you own a cell phone company? All right. My price is a little different. Yeah, word. Where you at the whole city behind us? <laughs> <laughs> Ludacris killed that shit. Y'all bugging. Ludacris killed that Nextel commercial. And he killed that. His uh, who else like, was on that? Game was on that. Who's Kanye? Game, Kanye, and Luda? Game I don't remember. Being a doof chirping. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't chirp in the chirp commercial? Doofy fucking chirp he was doing. Uh, listen, uh, 21 Savage, generally available. 120K. All of these say generally available, so you don't All right, have to so say we can that skip that. 120K for 21 Savage. More, you paying it? For 21, 120? No way. No, he bring that back. I won't pay to pay to find out. I think I agree with you. I think he will bring it back. Yeah. With, I, these, with these asking prices, are, they're different. It could be specifically for a venue where you're just doing ticketed seats, and yes, you'll get that back with bar included, all that shit. One twenty, yeah, yeah it, it's twenty one is getting that. Yeah. If you throw in a party and twenty one savage, you're not paying yeah. him one hundred twenty thousand. It depends to, on what the to event perform is. for the walkthrough. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm saying to perform, not the walkthrough. So which uh, one of these jumped off of the page to y'all? Black with fifty grand, a boogie with the hoodie. 100 grand, 125 McConan. grand. McConan. Black is getting more than 50 grand for a show. McConan wants 20,000. <laughs> <laughs> you not paying that more? Is it a Tuesday? <laughs> <laughs> fuck what day of the week This Tuesday better go up like the song <laughs> say. Well, we're going to go upside your head when you walk out of here. Which is funny, McConan was killing me on one of those tours. I was on like, yo, this move music nigga still touring? This nigga still going to see him? I was like, aha. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you down and it's a whack nigga talking about you can't really say nothing about uh-huh yeah okay I'll wait 
Mm-hmm. But I don't like I don't like when people just catch they they one hit or they just on top for that one month and then just start talking. Like yeah. sit down, relax. That's why you got to let these niggas talk. Relax because. <laughs> <laughs> let me just shut up. That's why you have to let them talk. Because sometimes, listen, everybody gets a turn in life. Always. Everybody gets a turn. The same nigga that you clowning for being down had that same hit and was up running around the world and got robbed and blew all his money. Uh, and I guess McConan is learning that on his own. But McConan, you're never getting 20 to 25 grand for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> That was petty. Nah, nah, get your your shit back. (laughs) Listen, hey, forget about booking prices. McConan, there's not any task that you will be paid. He's not on TaskRabbit? Not at all. (laughs) all. He might be. He might be on TaskRabbit. And I fuck with TaskRabbit. Is he still doing here? There you go. You don't know what his salon bringing in? Yeah, I'm saying. You don't know what he's making a month. Hey, hey, Iggy Azalea. Iggy's getting that still. Fuck that. 75 to 100? Yep. I you don't, to, you I don't to, believe you, that. You have to account overseas. That's all I'm saying. I don't believe that. You live in America. You have to account for overseas. We've I had live, this conversation. I live in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> We've had this debate with G Unit and you've lost every single time. You have to account. Whoa, 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 you have whoa, to account whoa, whoa. for overseas. You have to. Roy, you know that on this podcast, there's no conclusive way to figure out who lost. <laughs> <laughs> no, there is, but just because we can say it. And I'm not going to let you get that off. Even if I lost the G-Unit bout, <laughs> I'm not rolling with... I'm losing the Iggy Azalea gets 75 to 100 Well, she had like a well, overseas, hit, yeah. so she's probably getting... You, she's overseas getting good move money. different. They just move different. They don't live in the fucking bubble of everything changes every five minutes the way we do. I feel Iggy like, is I, getting that overseas. Then why isn't she Instagramming it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't follow her on IG. <laughs> I was being serious. I know. That's why I laughed. All right, what else? Immortal Technique, 10 grand. I got that for you. NDRE, 40 grand. Got that for you. J. Cole, call me, bitch. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that should just say, call me, bitch, by Cole shit. Mm-hmm. You ain't you're know the vibe. J. Cole, I got that Millie for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, J. Holiday, call. Yeah, no, I'm not calling you. Well, what uh, if you need your car to be brought up? Then I'm calling you. Okay. Uh, ja Rule, 25K. He, he's getting it. He is. Kiss, yeah. 15 to 25. He's getting it. That he is. Jake Miller don't know you. Uh, Janelle Monet, 100K. She's, she's getting it. 1,000%. Jason Derulo is getting that 100K. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Jay Sean, I'm not familiar with. Who's Jay Sean? Jay Sean, cool. He's, he's the 40K guy. Is he getting 40K? I don't, I don't know. know. I have no idea. Who Jay Sean's, he might be. Yeah, Jay Sean. J- he's uh, not getting 40K. J- <laughs> J- Jadena. <laughs> if we all try to be eyes. nice. Jadena is. Uh, 30 to 40K, I can see it. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. I would Jeremiah, think he'd be higher. 50 to 60, I can see it. I'm not familiar with Jesse Marco. Jesse J, 75K. He gets it. That's a she. <laughs> it's okay. I got your back, bro. That's what I'm here for. Then who am I thinking about? That's a dude. That's Jesse J. Jesse the Body Ventura, the wrestler. <laughs> I'm not doing right, more, Jesse more, Pinkman. More. <laughs> yeah. right, I, think he was, I think he was also a governor. <laughs> Jesse James. <laughs> Jesse the James. The porn star? Uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> porn star. <laughs> Y'all are idiots. I think I was thinking of Jesse the Body Venture. <laughs> <laughs> I know you were. <laughs> Yo, why is that the only Jesse nigga? Because that's know? the only one that niggas from the 80s go to is Jesse the Body Venture. <laughs> and, oh, hey, Jesse, Jesse, speaking of Jesse, Jesse is suing the city of Chicago. He is. I'm not talking no more about it enough. <laughs> He'll sue you. But, <laughs> he would sue me. but home, the brother that allegedly beat him up has a job. He got cast in a movie, and for some reason, the blogs think that's a really big deal. I'm just here to brew the beer. I'm off of that. Uh, <laughs> wait, Travis Scott's DJ's on here. Oh, there's more. Oh, I never saw the rest of this list. Oh, okay. Now, this is where it gets good, because I don't want to look at the people with that are making money that I'll never make. <laughs> Chris Brown, no colleges. I like it. That's where the, char- <laughs> that's where the charges come from. Get out of here. Yeah. I'm not doing coke here. Uh, <laughs> Chris Webby. They're definitely doing coke in college. <laughs> no, but I'm not doing it there. I'm not sharing coke and watching y'all see me do coke. Uh, Chris Webby, and I don't know that Chris Brown's doing that. So I'm just making jokes. Everything here is a joke. Shame I have to say that for you new, new listeners. Chris Webby, 10 grand. I can see it. Chrisette Michelle, 15 and 20. Tr- Trump, whoa, is whoa, gi- whoa, whoa, whoa. Trump is giving her that. Whoa, whoa, Chrisette. Oh, yeah. That's true. That one show. Yeah. Uh, Sierra, 75. Shit, I would say more than that. Isn't she hosting the, the Grammys with Alicia Keys or some shit? Some. I could just I think it's a different awards. I could just yeah. see I could just see Sierra shooting up her own price by making Russ 
uh, pay it to, for her to stay home. And by the way, for the people that say we don't fact check anything anymore, I was joking. I don't think Sierra is hosting the Grammys. <laughs> and shout out to all the niggas that, that say that. Like, when she say, I got to go to work tonight, when you say what you make tonight. Now, that's going to sound like a wild question. Some of these chicks, man, <laughs> they are putting in a hard nine hours for 200 That is true. 1,000%. Definitely. I got 200 for Now <laughs> You know what? It's cool. David Hollister, <laughs> 25K. Shout out to Dave. I don't know if that's happening, but. Danny Leg, it's 10K. Shit, I'm about to book her now. I like her. The baby, a buck, buck 50. You fucking right. Drum, 44, uh, 40 to 55K. Wait, Girl. hold on. Go. We skipped over the clips, which doesn't perform, period. <laughs> but if the clips did, the clips are not doing 10 to 15,000. Not a chance. Push is not doing 10 to 15,000. Is that or, like a different group clips that we don't know about? <laughs> yeah, maybe so. That can't be the clips. No, they think that uh, Push is the clips. Push is, <laughs> push is getting way more than 10 to 15. Designers definitely. at 45 grand. This is definitely an old list. No, yeah. this ain't that old. The Designer baby. is not getting this ain't old. The baby is getting 150K. Uh, they, added to it. Old. they added to it. Why I don't see Ravy B's price up here? <laughs> <laughs> I woke up and Gabrielle Union was tweeting about Ravy B. Shout out to Raven. And then Ravy B said something like nice and sentimental and sweet back. Of course. And I was like, I've never seen this side of Ravy. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, those oh, that, are, that are her real she's, friends. She's like beautiful to Gabrielle. Raven is a beautiful person. Not to me. Or me either, but that's our friend, so it's different. Yeah, all right, I got it. Congratulations. But no, that's, that's, that's not a fake side. Raven is a really nice person. Just She yells at me and you. Ravy price. <laughs> Ravy price is going up on a Tuesday. Oh, no. I, we can't even afford it for Palooza anymore. She's just our friend. <laughs> David Banner at 10K. Lil Skies. Lil Dicky makes 85K. I'm done looking at this shit. I'm done. Yeah. Oh, I thought that shit said uh, Kanan. Like, damn. <laughs> what the fuck is Kanan getting money? Kanan is dead. Lil John gets 25 to 40K. Yeah, these niggas making money. Lupe gets 45 to 55K. Sorry, buddy. Not rolling. Yeah. Uh, I think you could probably command that. In Japan. Ah, uh, see, now you're using my overseas Tokyo. card. What you taught me? I know. Paris, <laughs> taught Tokyo. Me. My student. All right, let's move on now. <laughs> Joker sequel, shot in Maul's hood. You in it? <laughs> nah. They, they doing too much now. They was doing too much the first time. <laughs> nah. Nah, the first one was dope. Yeah, it was a good movie. Wait, that movie grossed a billion? It's, Damn. It's White Panther. Shit. I didn't know that. <laughs> what Black Panther did? Somewhere around that. All right, so what you want? You right. My bad. What are they gonna do in Joker Part Two? Joke. You know what they're gonna do. He about to start killing shit now. It's gonna be more violence now. He about to get beat up. <laughs> That's part of his shit though, getting fucked up. He better not put a second movie out with him getting beat up. He's just gonna laugh. I don't want to see that no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, enough. I get it. I understand where you're taking me with this. Um, let's see. Floyd Bike. <laughs> no? Bike will always be funny. Is right? he? Uh, I don't know. He just announced that in 2020 he was coming out of retirement. Okay. He didn't, he said nothing else. He didn't say who he was fighting, what he would, where he would be fighting. Is, is this a UFC thing? Is Japan. this a boxing thing? He didn't say anything, but I'm coming out of retirement in 2020. If he does, are you excited about it more? No. Uh, I care. I mean, did 50 reply yet? No, not yet. <laughs> okay. I don't care. Who is he going to fight? You. <laughs> for the right price, I'll get in the ring. Oh, for the right price, you can make his shit tighter? No, no, I ain't pause. I ain't say all that. But I'll get in the ring. We don't know anything, but we'll watch it if it comes on, I guess, right? Yeah, I'll probably I mean, watch it. You have to watch it. Even, Even though I, his I fights that, are I very boring. I say that, but I didn't tune in. Uh, tune in is funny. Him and uh, Conor McGregor. I didn't watch I didn't watch that. Uh, I don't think I watched shit. that either, yeah. I watched it. I uh, didn't pay for it, but I watched it. I watched it. it. Are y'all watching the, uh, De uh, the Wilder fight, Deontay Wilder tonight? I would have to. Yeah. He's one of the I don't most know exciting much about fighters. the other dude, but... Yeah, Deontay's we'll fighting. You, you 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 watch for Deontay. That's that's all that matters. Yeah, you watch to see if he's going to land a knockout punch. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. All right, maybe I will check it out tomorrow. Um, what else is really important? Is there anything else super important that the streets just cannot wait till Wednesday for us to discuss? 
Uh, let's see. LeBron leading the oh, league in passing. Uh, Netflix. Male birth control is being passed. Come on, Maul. Talk about it. Uh, but the thing is, they have to inject it into your penis. The thing is, Parks, I would never do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. No you needles in the penis. Which, which part? part? I don't fuck with no male birth control. Be, you do what be I've a, been you, doing. You don't be on the pill? No, I'm going to do what I've been doing. Pull out and jack off for seven imagine, minutes. Imagine Maul telling chicks, don't worry, I'm on the pill. <laughs> <laughs> That's nasty for any man to say that. Don't worry, you're safe with me. <laughs> <laughs> That is nasty. They they trying to put all types of shit in humans, man. Trying? Well, they are. Oh shit! When I got burnt, they tried to put a Q-tip in my dick, and I was like, "Nah, I'm cool. Just give me the just give me the medicine." Yeah, I'll tell I don't you. need to know what it is. Yeah, it's not that serious. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> Next topic. What you was about to say? You said something. No, anytime he starts talking about the Q-tip and just giving the medicine, that always brings me to um, what is the name of it? A catheter. Uh, a catheter. Oh. A catheter, which is the most pain I've ever been in. I've shared that here a bunch mm-hmm. of times. So when Rory said that, it just triggered. It triggered, it triggered <laughs> Freeze <me>. up. <laughs> yeah, mention um, my pop was actually. I don't want to share pop's business, but he got some testing shit he got to take, and he ain't really too keen about how the tests are going to be done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, dad, my, like dad, older, my dad just went through something like that. Yeah. I, know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. He said that I put him to sleep. Either. <laughs> <laughs> he just going in there with a whole bunch of you're not. You're not uh, doing this. Not doing no, that. Yes, he, he said. Uh, he said they they uh <laughs> they said they do some numbing thing. <laughs> Pop, they, Pop ain't with none of that shit. They talk about <laughs> you gonna numb the area. Huh? Yeah, no. <laughs> I got you. Yeah, no. I got you. Um. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah. As, oh, as, and, as my dad said, getting old is not for pussies. That's a fact. Mm. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good bar from your dad. Yeah, uh. getting old is not for pussies. <laughs> I know. I know that's true too. Early this morning, I was laying in the bed, and I tried to, I tried to dead fish and close my eyes to just see what it was like to die. <laughs> Yo, you're sick. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't doing nothing else. I said, oh, let, me, let me try to be real still, real Yo, quick. Listen to- <laughs> Yo, listen. Oh, my eyes. I'm like, nah, I'm up. I'm here now. <laughs> nah, I ain't dead ho- at home. How you practice dying? Yo, look, yo, look at what this, still. Yo, look at what Joe be in the what? house doing. We gotta get my nigga out the house, man. Yeah, you can't be in the house trying to see what it feel like to be dead, bro. No, wow. I don't have nothing to do. That's what I gotta get you out the house. You ain't never did that? No. You just stayed still and said, This is dying. This is dying. Yeah, no. I, I, I took about good, a cool five seconds of death. I was and like, was like, All right, man. Mad Mad see what Instagram Mad people die moving. Nigga try to be dead for five yeah. seconds. This shit whack. Hey, what I miss when I was dead. <laughs> this shit whack. <laughs> what I miss when I was still for ten seconds. Yeah, Let me see. Let's see what the gram doing Boy, right quick. Nigga Joe is. Uh, we listen. We can end this because I'm gonna just keep saying a bunch of stupid. That's shit. some funny shit. Oh, we ain't talk about. Let me hold up real quick. We ain't bring back our segment and then we can get out of here. But niggas is out here trying to get their exes and their wives back. Okay. Swag. Uh, I stand with them. Fetty Wap's wife all week has been on. I'm just brewing a beer real quick. Has been on, on on every blog and everywhere saying I'm off this nigga, and he has finally replied. Who? Fetty. Okay. Let me give you some Fetty bars. Wait, what was the segment we had uh, all, for this? Uh, what was it? What was get, it? Get, your get your bitch, get your, get your, your queen, back. Get your queen back. That bitch word. I fuck. I'm trying not to say that word. <laughs> oh, are you? Not that hard. <laughs> Yo, get that bitch back. <laughs> Yo, 2020, uh, I won't say that word anymore. I bet. Now, listen, all of us have been in this Fetty bag, so I ain't going to clown him, but... No, this, this segment this, was this, never for clowning. This needs to be updated, because I don't think this works anymore. Fetty said, Yo, yo, I... Yo, uh, love to you... Oh, let me try to read this first line. Yo, I got love to you. That this wasn't not a joke, and I am ready to be your husband. Please don't give up on me. I only have you in my corner. I will lose everything if I lose you. Please, Bay. I will nothing but peace and happiness. With a cap there. Guess that means no cap. Yeah. I will love you every day for the rest of my life. I will never make this mistake again. Ladies. What that means is, 
we're gonna always do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I'll, I'll never. You make can't me. wait to make this mistake yeah, again. You will never catch me again. <laughs> don't don't listen to Joe. Uh oh. <laughs> Please, my wife, don't leave me. I will do anything to show you that I'm really ready. I'm really in love with you, and I will never choose anyone before you again. <laughs> I add it again. I know you don't want to talk, but I don't want to lose my wife. I did this, and I take responsibility for my actions. Mm. Uh, that's gross. And Once you take responsibility, that's yeah. like a good thing, though, for your actions. Do y'all think that this is going to help this gentleman get his wife back? No. These lines I'm don't work convinced. anymore. They don't work. But they, they, uh, women, women are too savvy now. You got too many options now. See, women used to stick through it when they didn't have many options, but now they got so many options. It's like, uh, I, damn, and that's that's the risky part about doing the the public apology because now you have all the commenters that she's gonna see. Not only that, she's gonna and, publicly post a new nigga. Yeah. All right. Well, this one is my favorite one, and then we could play sleepers and leave. Okay. NBA young boy. Mm-hmm. Apparently, has been talking to Cal Kuzma's girlfriend or significant other. Isn't that the uh, president of the Lakers? Yes. <sighs> so look, this girl that that he's talking to, she starts this with, "Yo, what exactly do you want?" And he says, "What do you mean? You know what I want." <laughs> okay. All right, NBA young boy. <laughs> she <laughs> said, get right to it. She said, you want to fuck? Mm-hmm. He said, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She said, oh, I just don't fuck anyone. I'm a relationship type girl. NBA young boy said, cool. And I ain't just anyone. <laughs> you better do your research on me. Go to vibrations, nigga. She said, I don't know who's been dropping my name like that, but I am not that type of girl. And he said, have fun fucking with them lames, though. Mm-hmm. She's, she said, I know who you are, but I'm not about to sleep with you because you're a rapper. I wasn't raised like that. But you was raised to sleep with someone that wasn't a rapper? He gave it a thumbs up. Said, yo, enjoy them lame-ass athletes. <laughs> <laughs> I like this nigga, man. I like this nigga. She said, LOL, first of all, they aren't lame. Okay. Yo, you know At least what? she's admitting and that you know she's what? saying. And you know what? Hey, 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 hey. I stand with her. I stand with her right there. Too many times you're standing in front of a girl and she says, have fun with your little other bird bitch you be with. And we be wanting to say... She's not a bird. <laughs> like, wait, how do you know? Wait, wait, wait. So she got. You so don't he, know her. You don't know her at all. So he has yeah, her which number. Women this is that, not a, the not little a bitches are, are some of the greatest women in the world. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy your little bitches. No, I know. Yeah. No, I am. I play it. And you know I am too. <laughs> uh, but anyway, she says they aren't lame. He says, no, yeah, they definitely lame. Every and all these athletes be dick riding me trying to hang out. All right, that's corny. So. Maul, take it back. Wait, but hold up. Maul, take it back. So this is not, I thought this was DMs. She had he has her number. No, they texting. Okay. They say this is prime time action. Got you. Okay. Uh yeah, all the athletes be trying to dick ride and hang out with me. Niggas lames. Enjoy that though. You ever around the same place I am, best believe. You hold on, be, hold on. Let's stop. Let's, let's stop real quick. Let's stop real quick. I don't like somebody named NBA Young Boy trying to shit on athletes. <laughs> That's a very good point. Yeah. It's very true. good point. It's true. It's cool. Because really, he's shitting on another young boy in the NBA. <laughs> yeah, Hans. Like, and when you just really look at the bigger yeah, picture. Yeah, it's self hate. Yeah, it's self hate. <laughs> it's definitely self hate. It's self hate right now. This is, this is, he said, self for sure. He, he said, enjoy that, though. Hey, you ever around the same place I am? Best believe you be kicked out. Peace. <laughs> she said, LOL. If we're ever in the same place, best believe I'll get it shut down. She talking like she genie bus. <laughs> who is this by the way I missed I was on my phone who is who, 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 I don't know who you it's N who is it's N All right, okay well, well why does go back to my line god damn it we don't even know her name just Kuzma's girl <laughs> NBA young boy said that's definitely Cap I'm a rich ass nigga gangster and ain't nobody gonna say shit to me they know what me and all my niggas is about 
There's two murder charges on my record right now. I like this <sighs> nigga, man. But you don't like the Grammy nom crying, nah. <laughs> crying in his nah. phone you know because why? he's proud of you his work and because, he's young. And, this is, no, wow, man. I'm going to tell you why. Because this was private. Yo, now, you NBA this old boy. This was private. Now, not private, You, you NBA old boy. He, he didn't know this was going to get put on a blog. Mo, you can screenshot anything. This is in his phone, though. Like He Mo. didn't put this Everyone out to the world. Everyone can see this. He didn't put this out to the world, though. That's the, Mo, that's the difference. It's in an iPhone. But he didn't put it out to the world. To it was a world. conversation between him and a <laughs> girl. The fuck what up, are you talking bro? about? Ma, if I talk That's about- a conversation in his phone between him and All another right, person. Side note. If I if you and I are texting about a murder and we go to court and, and you go, nah, it was between me and my man. Yeah, like, what are you talking Maul. about? <laughs> okay, he didn't screenshot this and put this out. I'm talking about recording yourself crying, putting it out to the world. I'm talking about. I'm talking about a murder girl charge who has on- a boyfriend that that's you public, and your that's team. Probably, he don't know. That's public information. His his record is public. What is he What is he incriminating himself on? Is that a part of uh, courting? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's talking about court. That's a what? Maul, Maul, I see where he's going. Maul, Y'all don't Maul, see the correlation. Maul, Maul, I don't. God, God Plus the court, like NBA. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. Let, let let they, don't, they don't know. Maul, that's God, triple God forbid, on time. That's a triple. They're talking about being in the same place. They'll God forbid something. Yeah, that's right? a trip. <laughs> God forbid something happens when the two of them are together. We go back into Texas and see, yo, if you ever in the same spot, I'm going to shut it down. I'm going to get you kicked out, all that shit. Yo, I got two murder charges. Yeah. Someone get murdered at the spot. But what she, you saying now, Maul? That's fly? She came at him and said, best believe I'll get it shut down. He said, ain't nobody going to do shit. So, all right, what happens if something happened when they see each other? Hey, listen, I was defending all right, myself. Let's try this a different way. <laughs> NBA Maul. nigga defending himself. I see where it's going. All the people that you know in real life that have murdered people. Are they? Doing this? Would you like them to text you about it? <laughs> text me? No. And, text anybody? And do you think that they would just start texting about it? But Even if it's public knowledge? No, they wouldn't. That, that's it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> but you don't like crying don't over like your it. Grammy nomination. No. Not publicly. Not putting it out to the no. over crying, I feel. I'm a fine sleeper. <laughs> I'm a you fine. can't tell me you're going to get the spot shut down and I got two murder charges on my record. Who are you talking to? <laughs> I get the spot shut down. First of all, how does he have her number and that's his, the other dude's girl? That's just See, this is why I said, I was it a know. DM? And it's like, no, that's text messages. So obviously she already had his number. She like, he had her number. That's a little strange. She knew who he was. But no so more. So she can't act surprised not, when she starts texting. You should not be texting a strange woman about murder charges, whether they're public or not. No, I agree with that. But once you start <laughs> like, saying you're going to get a spot shut down while I'm in there. No, especially. I got to let you know who I am. Especially when you should not talk about your murder no, I got, charges. I, I got to let you know the vibes though, who I am. Ain't nothing getting shut down while I'm here. <laughs> And ain't nobody gonna say shit to me. They all know about what me and my niggas is about. <laughs> I like it. I like all right, it. all right, all right. I'm shutting up because he just told me what his niggas is about. <laughs> right. I like it. Uh, I'm rolling with uh, uh. I, I don't think neither one of them. That's, I don't think that's gonna work for either of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a match. Now Ray J, I think is gonna get his queen back, but we're not gonna stay here and brew the beer. Ray J gave it up. Ray J gave it up on on don't scream and save you have to find it. Uh all right, what else is going on? Uh Floyd on bike cares about Stephen A is on the defense, but I've seen that all week. Y'all probably don't care about that. Netflix, we're working on Cardi Apology. Finally figured out Air Fizzo, Bots of Apologize, Air Lizzo, Gold Lane, Grammy Nons, Rhapsody, Funk Flex, Freestyle. Mm-hmm. We touched that, right? We didn't, but no. that's fucked up. It is. Rap killed that shit. Yeah, she did. She did. Not, not, and I kind of like how rap went in there. It was like, nah, fam, I'm bringing my, my own man's beat. <laughs> Flex was like, so what beat are we about? Nah, it's my man's shit. Shut up. <laughs> not, I'm not rapping on Welcome to New York City <laughs> like you want yeah. me to. I'm rapping on my man's shit. Shut up. I'm I about wish, to rap. I wish he'd have just let her go. Like, he ain't really let her go. I don't feel like Flex gave the same energy like I'm, I'm used to seeing. That, that's all. Because Flex is out of touch. And uh, Flex doesn't know that rap he, can he go. Might, he might not know that... No, she's one of the top goers. <laughs> right. You might not know. And I don't see how because that verse that verse that she spit, I mean, she sounded like it. Yeah. She sounded Flex like Flex is very aware of who Rhapsody is. Flex is out of touch. Sorry, he, guys. he knows who Rhapsody is. I'm not going to say out of touch. He's Flex a, is out of touch. And I, come he's on, an older nigga touch. Y'all think that's a, y'all, different, that's a different in touch. Y'all think oh, Flex don't know who Rhapsody re-worded. is? I never said that. Oh, okay. I don't think uh, he's I think he's, aware I think he's of out of touch pen. of how she goes. I don't no, think he, I don't think he's aware of her pain. He 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 knows. He no, he don't. Nah. Flex is a hip hop dude, man. What y'all yeah. talking about? He since knows when? exactly what. Since Rory, what are you? What? That's Funk Flex. I'm talking about right now. 
You think Funk Flex don't know who a real hip hop artist is? No. Who a real rapper is? Yeah, no. he does. No, I don't. Yes, Come on, man. Cut it out. I don't. Cut it's it a hip hop. But, but but Cut it out. And you guys are is making that, me disflex. That, I hate this. You're making me disflex. Yeah, but but don't. I'm not making you do it. I just asked you a question. They have not even presented an argument valid enough for you to disflex. Is your only argument that he's a hip hop dude and that's why he knows hip hop? When you're a hip hop dude, you know who the rap who the real rappers are. When you're a hip hop head. Flex is a radio it, dude. What are you that, talking about? But that's your only argument when it comes to Flex Mall? What do you mean? I'm not arguing that anything. Is, I'm saying that if it's he's a, a hip hop dude, so he I'm knows. I'm saying that, that if there's an artist, you, especially you, a female artist in rap that can really rap, not just Grammy the twerk, not just like, the twerk shake your ass rap, right. that can really rap, Funk Flex knows who she is and what she's capable of. No, he doesn't. Okay. okay. I'm telling you, okay. he doesn't. Okay. I just think that's. I'm glad he. I'm glad he gave her this platform. Parks, but I'm kind of shocked that that y'all think that. Why? Because for some, just because someone is a hip hop head, I don't automatically assume them to be in tune with all the people that go, and that's 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 just that's my only line. Like I don't think that Flex, maybe today he's aware of Benny and, and how niggas get down. I don't think he, he was. Even, I don't think he was early in that. Fam, when when Benny got on there, dude, he didn't know who Benny was. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I said, what are you seen, talking about? We've seen a lot of rappers <laughs> yeah, but, go, but, but when they Flex went up there, they really, was no idea. Benny was pretty. Pretty new at that's the time. what I'm saying. Yeah. When Benny and them went up there, they wasn't but as big as they are. Yeah, but what I'm saying is when know. Benny and them went up there, Rhapsody is already Grammy nominated, or she, or she she was uh, performing at big award shows. Like she's not an underground artist, right? I'm not saying we she. We never. Is. Said so why? She was. All right. So why I'm, would we're Flex not know? More to she, my point of Flex not knowing shit. Okay. If y'all think Flex don't have any clue, Flex on how Flex dope openly Rhapsody admits is. he knows nothing about anything that's going on in the newer generation. People know, but but Rhapsody is not. She's the newer generation. Yes, she is. How old is Rhapsody? I don't know her age. I'm not going to tell her age. You know, you know her I have age. no idea. You know her age. I dead ass have no. I have no idea how old I, I, she is. I don't. I don't know how old she is. She's I have not, no idea. Is she? Is she? Is she's. She is. She's been. Yeah. She's. Yeah. I know she was. 30s. She's been active yeah. since 20, 2009, she 2010. She fucks up nine to his flex. Well, her age don't matter. She's active now. <laughs> Y'all think that flex and don't flex know don't know. Flex knows <laughs> hip hop. He does. He might not know when he says, "I don't know what the young kids are doing." He's probably talking about all the auto two rappers. He openly, I'm, to- I'm talking about plays rappers. the records. I'm and talking says, about young like rappers. Shit. He don't know. Rhapsody's not a young rapper. Where she has it in the game, I'm what, what else? What I'll say? She's uh, been rapping for I, years in the industry, I, and that's my next point to Rory's point. If Flex was as aware of Rhapsody, she's been rapping since that, 2009. The, the way that y'all tell me, this wouldn't just be happening I'm un- at I'm, all. I'm unclear. Like, you're like she's, our point. she stumbled, and then that's when they stopped. What does that? What does that mean? I'm confused. So I'm wondering why you don't think that she let her go. He let her go in. Like she. No, I'm talking in. about Flex just not knowing what's going on now. No, I'm, I'm, I'm. I said that. So what I will say: plenty of rappers have gone up there and stumbled, stumbled for sure. Continued. When this happened here, it didn't seem like that same grace period was allowed. I could be wrong in that, but I stumbled. I got to keep going. Fucking. Uh, Shit, mad niggas are going to absolutely. absolutely. Everyone, everyone, but black sometimes, black thought. But sometimes <laughs> flex everybody will, but black thought. Flex will sometimes interject the stumble, and then they l- allow them to pick up yeah, their or, shit. Or she might have just been like, "Yo, cut it right there." That's the thing too. You act like they don't edit these. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, she could have went back and said, "Yo, just, just cut it after I stumble." Shout out to Rap. She killed this shit. Absolutely. Love, love Rhapsody. Yeah, word and Should've congratulations. Been, and, 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 and I love Flex. And yeah. I love Flex. Yeah. I don't see how Flex got this platform popping and Clue does not have this platform popping. And that's another, that speaks to Flex's awareness of hip hop is what he's doing with this shit. No, Flex has always been, Flex was one of the early radio people to try and get digital popping. Uh, when he had his Inflex We Trust shit, like right. he had a staff. Like he's always been, this was even later in his digital career, but for niggas that grew up on Clue, like, I don't know. Let me know. I agree with you. I see what you're saying. Like, wow. Yeah. Uh, all right, that's all I got, man. That's 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 all I got. I'm, I'm gonna go out, get me a nice meal, and enjoy the enjoy the night. Enjoy 300 episodes, man. I want to thank I want to thank my co-hosts for coming to work twice a week. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to thank Spotify. I want to thank the fans first and foremost, the listeners. The I want to thank the artists, uh, the labels, the the guests that we have had. Um, Gang, 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 Erickson, Screaming, Savon, anybody that's helped in this podcast, uh, Marty the Body, Peter Rosenberg, old, old Chris Brown, not new Chris Brown, STD got beef with him, so we ain't even going to talk about it. <laughs> uh, somebody else that used to work with us, I don't remember. but There was, was a couple. But, uh, what was our, our engineer before Parks at in uh, Patterson? Pat. 
Shout out to Pat, man. Ah, oh, my man, Pat. Shout Pat, out to Pat. Ferrari, shout out to shout him. Shout out to Ferrari for <laughs> sure. Listen, man, shout, shout out to everybody. It's been a long, long road. Our 300 seemed like it was so far away at one point. <laughs> fuck a Parks have to come in and tell Pat how to do the settings. <laughs> shout out to oh Pat, man. God. I fuck with Pat, man. Parks, I'd be like, yo, this <laughs> this is how I got to go. <laughs> But that was real early on, man. When when we just and and I'm not sh- and I'm not even going to shit on Pat. Because I'm not shitting on Pat at all. Shout out to Pat. Yeah, it's no, not an easy thing to do. Yes, I want to speak. That's a lot I, I of love, podcasts now that still, still don't haven't sound, gotten sound there. like pure shit. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, no, it's true. That's no, I love that Pat came in every fucking week and was like, "Well, I'm gonna do this for y'all." Right. <laughs> and listen, and no, once Park showed him, we was lit. Right. We, yeah. we was off to the races. Uh, until Ferrari shut the shooting studio down for a year. He did eat us. Yeah, that was crazy, but whatever, man. Uh, it's been a great run. Hopefully, we make four hundred. Yeah, Damn! Will, so our five will. year episode is is what like three twenty or some bullshit. That's not, yeah, that's not a yeah, cool number. <laughs> yeah, not, that's not that's know. not too swaggy. I'm not good at math. Yeah, it could just be five years. <laughs> Me neither. Me neither. Uh, y'all got anything y'all want to say before we get into sleepers on this very special monumental episode? Yo, you know, like we didn't do it with ads. Like, <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Bevel. Shout out to Bevel. Me shout, shout out to that talk therapy shit. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that was hilarious. Fans. Yo, that's one of my favorite. No, 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 episodes. no, no, no. Uh, Yo, so I had to get on with <laughs> with talk therapy. What was talk space? Talk space. Uh, the dude that did our ads at the time. Shout out to Eric. Eric needs to be shout out on this shit too. Talkspace, like, yo, we got to get on the phone. I was on the phone with the CEO of Talkspace. Like, that was just really insensitive. Everything that he was joking about. I was like, I don't think you know Joe's background and are the fans understand this. That was really insensitive to everyone that has uh, that type of issue in their life. I got cursed out about mental health for 30 minutes on a conference call about that fucking ad. (laughs) (laughs) That ad was hilarious. That was the greatest ad ever. (laughs) Where's me undies? I want some more of those pants. (laughs) Those were great. Them shits was comfortable. Shit was Good like, draws, too. I think somebody's sing got them shits. Them me undies pants was comfortable as <laughs> nah, shit. Nah, they was. They was. We need more of those. Yeah. Um. All right, man. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Let me find a sleeper. That is the Joe Budden. Pro- All these Joe Budden projects need clarity. Like, Wale when tried the, to give you your flowers. When are the Dat Piff pro- uh, contracts over? You need to tell you to these mixtapes with all original music, <laughs> right? Right, should be somewhere, and yeah. we kill on Spotify. <laughs> that's that's enough. I don't know what's going on. I'm still super surprised at a Jim Jones album coming next month, but boy, am I excited for it! And I'm doubling down. Me too. Album of the year, Christmas Jim album? Jones. Uh, yeah, it's up there. Well, Freddie's Freddie and Mad Lib still for me, but Jim is up there. Top top three. Yeah, yeah I'm with yeah, you. Jim is uh. Yeah, Jim's album. Jim, Jim is 1,000% in the top three conversation for rap album of the year. Yeah, yeah. Not even close. Um, Something else is... Really? Which, which y'all, y'all clown the head bop. I tried to tell y'all early. <laughs> <laughs> now, I saw something going around, and we're going to end this, but I will say I was joking. I was not joking. But I was telling more early about these the, the rap criminals need to stop being criminals like on their phones and like on camera and shit. Right. But... This AR Ab news really disturbed me because he was one of my favorite like street dudes that talked to their phones. Mm-hmm. And, okay. And he he caught he caught some drug trafficking charge and he's facing like fifteen to life or Damn. something like that. Yeah. Minimum of fifteen, I think. Shit. Men, fifteen. <sighs> Max fifteen to life, which. That's nuts. I don't know. I'm not checking that, but I'm disappointed that he's gone. And there's something going around saying now that a judge thanked DJ Vlad. I saw. I saw that headline for yeah, that, that interview to for to help with these charges. That's sick. Yeah, but I'm over getting mad at Vlad and us shitting on Vlad. For, I'm not. I'm not mad at Vlad. Niggas yeah, know what it is. Uh, artists shouldn't be uh, going up there talking. And, maybe maybe not in that situation. I get mad at Vlad when he takes advantage of kids during during that. Because all these kids know is the internet, so they see a way to get some exposure, and yep. they see that, that it works that way. Right. And Vlad is a grown fucking man that's very smart. Vlad is the furthest thing from stupid. So I get mad when he takes advantage of kids. I'm not talking about the AR app situation. Mm-hmm. Right. Talk about Vlad when he talks to fucking children, children. Yeah, yeah. that are doing this, and this is the only thing they know. 
Which they know that YouTube to? gets them to the next level. So they fucking use Vlad sits there and asks these children what they're doing for crimes. What children? That's what bothers me. The young, the young rabbit. What kids, children? Man. What do you, t- fam? What children I, does he talk to? I'm just asking. Right, let me pull up the Vlad, Vlad page. I don't watch Vlad. So I, do, I don't know. I'm asking you what kids do he be talking. Every to? young, every young, young rapper, every young rapper. Yeah. You Period. gotta stop saying kids though. Niggas that's 23 is not kids. Okay, I'll talk about teenagers then. People I don't that, know no teenagers people that, that, that people that don't know better when you when you take advantage of of the ignorant. Yeah, but that's not kids. If you're 23, 24, 25, Vlad is talk to you teenagers. Know, you should know what you're talking about and what not I don't, to say. I, my focus is not the kid part of that. If you're trying to jam up a grown man, I'm looking at you the same way. Oh no, I was just speaking to what Rory was saying. I don't I don't watch Vlad. So I don't know who does his show and who doesn't. I don't. Work. I'm not fucking with. Listen, I've got. Ten years at least of saying the same thing about Vlad, so I don't feel like I need to beat a dead horse. Mm-hmm. Right. But I don't, I'm not fucking with no nigga that's just out here trying to jam up men. That's, yeah, no, no, that's, that's, that's yeah, that, I agree. That's that's nastiness. Mm-hmm. Um, Rollo is another one, man. He's another one of my fucking entertaining street niggas that used to just do it for the phone. And I miss him, man. I miss Rollo, man. I miss the street niggas. Real good pop, man. Real good, real good 300th episode, happy fellas. Happy 300, everybody. Yeah, happy 300 to y'all. Oh, yeah. Let's... Uh... Feliz Navidad. More, that too. more, more, yeah. more. It's still all, all our fans were asking for it. Oh, shit. All right, let me turn this off right here. <laughs> this is what everyone was asking for? Right Chief Keef. 300, 300 Chief Keef. Uh, it was asking for it. Yeah, why do we start with this? Because we, <laughs> right. we don't conform to what everyone wants. Oh, uh, okay. You're right. <laughs> We don't take requests. Rory, <laughs> can you please turn the record down, Rory, please? No, it's a good record. Let's talk over it, but turn it down. Uh, yeah, it's appropriate to end with. with yeah. Turn down a little more. Yeah, it's appropriate to end with. Chief you have Keith. headphones on. I Chief Keefe is another one. I love Chief Keefe. Love Chief Keefe. Love Chief Me Keefe. Too. Chief Keefe, pull up. Pull up for a pull up. Not the push up. The pull up. <laughs> uh, with that said, damn, it's hard to do the woman poem over this shit. <laughs> turn it off. Turn it off. It's just... Thank you, Rory. Now. <laughs> uh, Still have Chief Keefe on my uh, Wayne Drake list as far as who influenced music oh, right now. Oh, huge influence. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Chief Keefe, uh, we got to put some type of informed list together before the year ends. I won't say any more about it because we never do it. But well, decade shit. I can yeah, talk about decade, decade music. Decade, yes. Chief Keefe is on that list. You're fucking right. He should be. Yeah, well, he changed the decade for sure. Absolutely. He well, he impacted the decade for sure. Yeah, yeah, he definitely did. Uh, listen, man, great episode. Thank you for listening. Thank you for joining us on this audio adventure, on this fantastic voyage. <laughs> uh, until the next time, man, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. I bid you adieu, Arriva Derchi. Adios, hasta la vista, peace. So long, goodbye, deuces, one. However you, however you piece somebody out. Whoa, whoa, that's crazy. Can't believe that happened. Um, what else? Oh, women, 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 women. What am I saying about that? Oh, got it. Remember, the girl is not cute. She's young. Remember, she is not thick. She is on her tippy toes. She does not have hips. She is sitting on a sink, bed, or some type of flat surface. She doesn't have a sense of humor. She grew up with brothers. She's not healing. She's hoeing. That's not woman's intuition. She went through your phone. And last but not least, she is not protecting her peace. She is avoiding accountability, failing to realize how her actions have a negative effect, not only on her life, but other lives as well. Oh, last but not least, she's not bisexual. She's looking to make the threesome awkward. Yep. Uh a couple of women have hit me saying I've left the, the guy part of the poem out the last few podcasts. It's true. I have. Don't really feel like I'm getting a lot of women support on that one. <laughs> uh, yes. No, yes. That's a shocker uh, no, there. No, no, no. We'll, we'll go there. Um, his family's not weird. He's spending Thanksgiving with his baby mother. That's true. <laughs> that's a fact. Yo, damn, we should have... T- next podcast we'll talk about... I have so many, like, horror stories of bringing a girl to Thanksgiving. Oh, Man, like I've, I've when she do something stupid in front never. of your family, can't it's a can't can't game. unlive that. They gonna remind you every year. Where's that girl that came in here and knocked all the banana pudding over? <laughs> no. Where's that girl that came here one year and sat there the whole time and and watched your eighty year old aunt make your plate? <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. You can't really clean that up with your family. Once Aunt Daisy is making your plate, and your little twenty one year old hottie is sitting there. <laughs> Not 21, you know what I mean. Uh, you were 22, it's okay. 
There you go. Oh, God, Rory. Safe. I got you. Oh, save. <laughs> that was almost save. a turnover. <laughs> save. Rory dove out of bounds yeah, for that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He saved it for us, man. <laughs> Yo, until next time, it's supposed to snow in New York on Sunday. Be warm. Be merry. Be well. Be safe. Two Wednesday, man. 301. Salute. The Kings. You know the vibes. Next level shit. Next Hold level up. shit. <laughs> By the way, this is the second time you brought this snow shit. It's gonna be fifty degrees. It's gonna rain. Stop. It's the Joe second wants, time you've tried to do this. He wants snow so bad. Sunday. Yes. He wants snow it's so bad. It's gonna be fifty degrees. Did y'all get Christmas trees yet? No. I, have, I got the oh, fake joint. Oh wait. That's in the me, closet. Me getting in my rapper bag. My bad. Y'all missed the double entendre. Snow Allegra concert Sunday. Oh no, we in there. Oh, it's gonna snow Sunday. As a pod, as a family, oh, we'll be in the building. Oh, 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 back, wait a second, snow Allegra. God, hold up, goddamn it! That's how <laughs> I'm ending 300. Fuck all this other Dipset shit. Shout out to Dipset. Hold up, let me just end this right. I see niggas wanting to go home. Hold up. Oh, damn, damn, Maul's not gonna join us for the snow show. That's crazy. Can't hang with the fellas while listening to the snow album. <laughs> Maul, you're not coming. No. Oh, great. Extra tickets. <laughs> Extra tickets. You say I'm. That, that's Verified. not the record. Never that's not the record. record you cut off. Let that go. Lately, we ain't been on that same page. We've been going through it, man. And my, oh, in my mind. Ah. Oh. That's just the way. And all jokes aside, I'm seeing footage of her performances in other places. She looks beautiful. Her voice sounds amazing. The live band sounds amazing. It's going to be a crazy show, Maul. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm hyped. I can't believe you're not going. Have fun, man. Where you going to be at? Shit, why you on my mm-hmm. body like that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I still all over my jacket. What's up with you, my nigga? I bet. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, I'm all right.